episode 652, Working Class Bowhunter Podcast. Kurt Geyer speaking. Eric Hammond. Doug Schmidt. Doug's here again. Whoa, it's a record. Hey, what are you quitting? No. Doug's been quitting <laughs> you on us. up on us, bro? I'm getting a raise. Oh, a raise? <laughs> yeah. How do you figure? You said it. Chug, chug that beer right now. <laughs> I don't want to. Let's, let's, I don't want to. Let's start this this podcast off. Right I'm now. Doug Schmidt. Nice to meet you. All right, moving on. <laughs> Michael Lee's in the house. Hey, hey, what's up, man? What's up, guys? Thanks for being here, man. Thanks, thanks for y'all coming for inviting me. Like, yeah. it's, it's, I'm I'm gonna say this because I hadn't said this yet. Um, this has been on my bucket list. It has been yeah. really, really. Like I've, I've I've kept up with you guys for a long time. Oh, you're welcome. And um, here we go. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you, man. You're welcome. I mean. <laughs> All right then. But, yeah. <laughs> Time Either to go. Way, next next <laughs> subject. Yeah. No, man, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I, mean, yeah, that's I feel like awesome. we've been like we've been TikTok buddies for a bit. Yeah. Kind of like interacting yeah. and following yeah. what each other are doing. So I appreciate you coming up yeah. and being here. And uh yeah, we'll get into all that. Beth Lee's sure. also in here. Hey. <laughs> Y'all are really in trouble now. In trouble. <laughs> are you you're like keeping us in check on this episode, I think. Yeah, that's subjective. Wait a second. Nope. Uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. We uh, we got fancy on this episode. We got a bottle of Blanton's. We're going to try some Crown Royal Blackberry mm-hmm. on the episode sometime. It smells good. And uh, we're having hunting camp. That's what we this are. is. Yeah. Right. We're audio hunting camp yep. for everybody else. Help you get you through your work day. We hope. <laughs> right? That's the goal. That's the goal. Like, I, think about it. Anything we do in the outdoor industry, and I consider, you know, podcasts, what I do, and video side and all that, we're, we're, we're entertainment, if you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, we're educational entertainment. Uh, whatever that makes anybody out there that enjoys what we're doing escape the stress of life for sure for whatever amount of time with 30 you know 28 and a half minutes on what i do on tv and you guys a couple hours on podcast like, yeah like hey while you're sitting at work watch us on youtube you know watch us on tv whatever listen to you guys get an escape from the stress of life because we're put here to enjoy stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Let, let, let us be your said. hunting camp yeah. while you can't be a right. hunting camp. Exactly. That, and, yeah. and, and me growing up, I mean, like, I'm an IT guy and we might get into some of that. I don't know. Yeah, we will. But um, <laughs> we'll you know, get there. I, I remember being stuck in a server room, you know, working on IT crap when I was in college. And all I wanted to do was like turn on and watch hunting stuff on TV, yeah. you know, to get away from computers. So right. for sure. I, I get it. Anybody out there listening to this that's you, like, you're stuck in a job. That you may or may not like, freaking a, we're here to help you out. Yeah, yeah that's man. our goal. Well, that's too. Is, you know, like I like some people are tips, some people are like tips, tactics, that type of shit. I and we've done that, and I like that. But I like now that we're kind of we're leaning more into entertainment stuff. Like we had Tim Sylvia on uh, a week, whatever ago, yep. mm-hmm. and uh, it's like we just talked about Chixie Bang when he was a champion. <laughs> <Yeah>. Tim's <laughs> awesome. I've met you know him, been around him a few times. Like, oh, yeah. He's yeah. a good guy. Great dude. But yeah. it's like. That's the conversation we needed to break up the monotony of, well, yeah, this buck came in. I mean, that's all yeah, good. Yeah. But not every hunting story is this like crazy story when you do 650 something episodes. <laughs> you got to get creative every once in a while. You get tired yeah. of talking about deer? <laughs> no, 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 but it's fun to hear about the chicks that Tim Sylvia banged when he was the heavyweight champion of the world. We don't get to sick of talking about deer, but sometimes it's nice I, not I was to say, talk about deer. Every once in a while, you get to talk about banging chicks instead of deer. Yeah, like so, Tara, okay, Tara cool. Reed, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's wild. Okay. No shit. Hey, it's uh, yeah. good for that him. That was good for him. Yeah. I don't know if you're like, allowed to say that. that. Pre-crazy or post-crazy? Oh, that was after oh. All right. Well, you're gonna, Tim Silva's going to beat your ass. Okay. So uh, we'll talk about that later. Tim I, Tim, I had nothing to do with this. I didn't brother. either. Yeah. I wasn't even there. Down. Yep. Eric mm-hmm. fucked up. Yeah. And I'm making it worse right now by still talking about it. <laughs> um, Man, but, Crown Royal Blackberry. What a oh, sponsor. I, I can't wait to try out. it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like, it's that's the fun of like yeah. podcasting and what we do. It's like we have a little more. Well, let's get into that. You you've been on television for twenty plus years, twenty years. Tw- this two thousand twenty four is twenty years. Twenty years. 20 Congratulations. Years. Wolf. Yeah, Thank that's you. crazy. Thank you. It's, it's on. It's is humbling and asinine at the same time. How old were you twenty years ago? Shit. Oh. Uh, 12. <laughs> 12. <laughs> well, yeah. um, Entrepreneur. Well, 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 let's, let's prelude that. Like, my birthday is Tuesday, and Doug's birthday is Tuesday. Same yeah. birthday, so, brothers. Birthday, bro. So, like, this, they're in the presence of greatness. Um, and, you know, when the, the I'm here we are with Michael and freaking Squirrel. <laughs> hey, the year I feel like I was, you're trying the, to get the, around, like, how year old I'll, you I'll, are. I'll, okay, I'll be 47. <laughs> yeah, it seems two, like it. I'll be 47 Tuesday. So, I was 20, I'll be 22. 20. <laughs> Five twenty-seven. <laughs> when I start, twenty-two. Yeah, Doug, you'll be thirty-four, 
I don't make me feel as old, but the the year I was born, Elvis died that year. Mm, so you're Elvis. Oh shit! Thank you. Like really, there wasn't room for both of us. <laughs> right, he had so to I, die. That's why I tell her all the time. Like you know, I'm pretty much took a spot. You did. You're yeah. the king. So, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit! But yeah, yeah, so I was I was twenty twenty five or so when we started. See, that's cool, yeah. man. That's you know about, what's crazy is we you've been the filming same. almost as old as Jordan is. Yeah, our intern just turned twenty one, and that, and so oh, ironic, baby. ironically, my cameraman that travels with me everywhere is named Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Brake, awesome guy. I love him. He's like, he's, well, he, he, I guess he's like my son because I mean I'm old enough to be his dad. Because mm-hmm. he was like, when I remember the first day he filmed with us, he's like, man, I used to watch y'all when I was like seven. <laughs> <laughs> and we were and like, like, huh? Damn, what? we're old. That's crazy, <laughs> right? I was like, God, dude, like nut kick first day <laughs> yeah. but, but also thank you th- thanks for being here and yeah. keeping up with me that long no, George, 20, just get it turned yeah well dude 20 years is haul i, I mean, mean and, and i mean that with like as a compliment because no the hard. things you've seen change in the space of hunting me- podcasts yes dude, didn't exist no you, it, i always thought when we yeah right did not exist mm-hmm. well they barely existed when we started yeah you know mm-hmm. nine years ago and I felt like when we started, nobody took podcasting seriously, which, I mean, I don't blame anybody. Well, a lot of people didn't know what podcasts were, too, when we first started. Yeah, what's this? Yeah. You know? Like, um, we, you have to download this on what and listen to it where? Yeah, what is oh, it? Yeah. It's like, dude, it's, it's like what a is, talk show, but what is it's iTunes? internet radio. <laughs> yeah, what's <laughs> iTunes? Time. Yeah, what's iTunes? You have an iPhone. Now, nah, like, it's that. on there already. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, like, you guys yeah. have seen change and growth seen and all. heaven flow and what works, what doesn't work. Like, you... Yeah. You've seen experience I, at all. I've seen people come and go. I've seen people come and stay. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really. I mean, um, and, and I like to throw this out there because we we started the same year Realtree Road Trip started. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And 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 I love Waddell. Like, me and him, we go way back. And, I mean, we're, you know, we're buddies. and Georgia boys. And yeah. I mean, you know, he, he really put that in perspective. Like, the few times um, we, we first got started, we crossed paths. He's like, man, Georgia boys got to stick together. Mm-hmm. And I, I appreciate that. Like, he's always been super cool to me. And I know he's like, you know, the, the Tiger Woods of our industry, if you want yeah. to go that route with it. Um, so I got tremendous respect for him. Uh, all those guys, man. And I got respect for everybody out there that's especially been in the game as long as we have. Um, but I I can I look at us as as backwards life as like the people that nobody thought would ever be here in twenty years. Mm-hmm. Like we like I started backwards life, me and Kevin and uh, Kevin Knight and Trey Weatherington, we started that together in, in around two thousand four. And um <laughs> No, I mean, I literally started with like four hundred dollars in my pocket. Yeah, I mean, it, and you guys know. I mean, it, it it's a it is a grind, it's a hustle. I mean, kudos oh, yeah. for y'all for being around as long as y'all have. Y'all Thank paid you. y'all's dues too. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and I, and that's the way I look at it is like, I appreciate the people that had to hustle, that had to work, that had to get out there, roll up your sleeves, get yeah. in a ditch, mm-hmm. dig it out, and make your way because you did something that was not done. Um, I'm not saying we did something that wasn't done. But it was in an era where if you didn't have a big name brand company Mm -hmm. pushing you out there, nobody knew who you were. Nobody cared. I can't imagine in 04 because, yeah, it was like major. It was major moves only. It's well, from my perspective, right? I was 14 in 04. And and so it's like I was a fan of everything Mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. So to me, everything to me seems so big league like. TV network, like how do you get to whatever yeah. scale, whatever network? Yeah. What are, you're on TV until you knew how it worked. Until you yeah. know, but still though, it's like how do you get a DVD? But in 04, well, yeah. how do you yeah. even talk so to that's all these how people? It started. Yeah. So we have been married six months. We got married in May of 2003. Oh and, shit! Yes, and so yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> what? Hey, what the hell? And so he hey, by was, the way, <laughs> you know, he had been a hunter for all his life, and he was like. Hey, I met this guy, Kevin. We're just going to make a DVD and like see what That's happens. what it started. At. It really started. At, and I was like, all right, like you're already taking your video camera. That's cute. And yeah, like it <laughs> was she, fine. She was like, she was like it's get not going to go anywhere. Like, ah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And then it started like evolving and evolving. And it was, it, it was rough it, at it, times. It, like it, it was, was bad. It was. It, it was bad. Yeah. We, like, it was like rough. she, she has been awesome. Cause I'm telling you right now in this industry, if you're going to make it and stay married, you have to have somebody that sticks with you yeah. because it's going to be tough. Mm-hmm. It's going to be days where you don't know if you're going to be able to do it tomorrow. Um, there's going to be haunts you go on that suck. You're going to call home. You're going to be in a horrible mood. 
you're going to have to have somebody that says, Hey, you got this. Yeah. Like, like yeah. You, it is, it I can't. System. And I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think anybody that's been in the, as long as, as I have, like Michael and Nick and all those guys, like if you go and talk to them, they'll say the same thing. You've got to have somebody to support you in this. Yeah. Or you're not going to be able to do it. Now right. there's guys that, you know, like Jordan, y'all, y'all's Jordan that's 20 years old and, I mean, he don't have a wife or, or and we don't have any kids. So that, that honestly played a big role in me being able to do it this long. Yeah. Um, have to have like the 20 year old, like, man, I don't have, I mean, as long as I can keep the roof over my head and pay my bills, I don't care. Like right. I'm just, I'm just going right. to go hunt. Yeah. I'm just going to live life. But you get down the road and you realize, okay, I, I want to make a little bit of money in my life. I want to, you want to be know, comfortable. Do, yeah. I want, I want to be able to buy a house and I want to be able to afford stuff. And, and I, I might like to meet a lady that, you know, I want to spend the rest of my life with. And, mm-hmm. but if you're going to do what we do and you guys included, because it's a grind, you've got to have that. You've got to have a foundation. Cause if you yeah. don't, I mean, it, it's, it's lonely. Yeah, it, it is. Like if, if it wasn't for her, there's days I'd have just been like, man, I'm moving my ass back to the family farm and mm-hmm. hanging out with big Mike and we're going to watch deer <laughs> on the front porch. And I don't give a shit Which that's not a bad gig either. No, it's, it's yeah. a, that, that sounds that, pretty, that, pretty awesome. Actually. That, that's my end game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. That's like, retirement. Like, huh? That's my retirement right there. I'm like, we're going to sit on the porch and watch deer at the farm. And that's, that's, and honestly in all we do, you know, we get caught up in, in big deer and hunting big deer and, and traveling and, and, and I was out of the gate like, man, I'll go anywhere anybody will let me go. I went on some of the shittiest hunts you've ever seen in your life. I'm talking like from cracked out cooks in hunting camps that scared the shit out of me <laughs> to guys that <laughs> like did, trying to jump at opportunity to help the brand grow and your project. You're just trying to do stuff. whatever you can to make it, man. Like, yeah. like, like a guy says, oh, man, come hunt with me. And you go and it's crap. It's like the worst hunt you've ever been on, but you go because it's a free hunt. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to do it. <laughs> and yeah. so. And and you go through the grind of all that, and I don't even know. I'm I'm even way off topic right now. I don't no, you're know. not. No, you're, you're not. Great. I um, <laughs> what I like about it though is we've talked about this a little bit, but I don't mm-hmm. think you, it can ever. Maybe it can be beat down eventually, but um, there's just like a lot of stuff that people will hate on you for, whatever the internet or not. Just in general, you know, in the day at 04. yeah, because you just had the ambition to do things, and there people just hate on that. But most people in general. I, I feel this way. I don't know if I'm tr- right or not, but if you take a hundred people, most people just don't want to do things in general because it's like out of the comfort zone or the mm-hmm. unknown takes work or to do. new or it's work or it's effort or, and that might be all these people are like, Oh yeah, I want to go on a, I want to go to Wyoming and go spring bear hunting. Okay. I'll give you one. Let's go next week. Can you leave Monday? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, no. Well, mm-hmm. uh, right. you don't want to go. Right. You know, it sounds cool because you can say, oh, I wish I could do that, but you'll never plan it. It, it, uh, Mm -hmm. So uh, like we were talking before this, I'm, you know, I'm buddies with Brantley Gilbert and Brantley wrote a song that nobody will probably ever hear, but he's like, everybody wants to be an outlaw until it's time to do outlaw shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. And not not that we're outlaws and breaking the law or nothing, but I'm saying it's a good analogy. You want to go climb a mountain and shoot a mountain goat until the guy says, okay, we're going in the morning. We're going. You go. Oh well, I mean, I got. Well, I didn't think you were really. Yeah, gonna go. I, I didn't think we were really gonna do that. <laughs> I, yeah, I, was that. And, I was right. joking. Yeah, I was yeah. just playing. It sounded cool, but now I'm kind of like. I drank thirty beers. It'd be like sitting yeah. at a dude, <laughs> sitting at a bar with a dude, and he's like, "Oh, I could ride a rodeo bull." Like, "Oh, I got a rodeo bull here at the house. Was it going to drive a mile away?" <laughs> oh, oh, well, I can't. I'm tired. It's like, <laughs> I can't take a what? shit. Si- sidebar. <laughs> I, Brantley called me last Saturday. He bought a rodeo bull. <laughs> Did he really? Did he really? <laughs> yeah. I forgot his name though. Already. Eric, you gonna write it? Uh, Who'd he buy it off? Dale Brisby or something? No, he no. he actually they were. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Long story short, Brantley called me and he said they were playing Billy Bob's in Texas, uh-huh. which is right next to I guess the stockyards. Fort Worth stockyards. Oh gosh. Yeah. And so he he went they went over and hung out and they met a guy like just hanging out there and he got to talking to him and this dude owns like a ton of the the. Bucking PBR bulls. bulls, yeah, PBR bucking bulls. Oh bowls. shit! And and Brantley and the guy was like, "Hey man, you you ever want to buy into one of these?" And Brantley was told me like, "No man." And he said, "I've had guys ask me to pass them. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars." And he's like, "No man, we can do better." I ain't gonna say what he paid for it. I'd respect. Yeah, 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 for right. sure, for sure. But like, he was like, "Oh." He, he said, I couldn't get on my phone fast enough and get that guy the money. So dude, I bought into a, a bucking bull. I told, I said, dude, if you'd have called me, I'd have bought in too. Just yeah. because like that, 
Like be cool. Dana White's so got one. Awesome, How much man. fun would that be? Right. Dude, like, it's I want to go to a PBR event. Yes. Know that. Oh, yes. if I was at Brantley Gilbert's it. place, I'd probably ride a bowl. Yep. No, <laughs> you wouldn't. You just talked about that. <laughs> no, yeah, see, all right. You know there what? There we go. Eric, <laughs> tomorrow. Brantley's actually a mile down the road with his bowl. He's and, actually right. here in the back of the parking <laughs> lot with the bowl. Brantley's on the uh, way. Hey, with I said at Brantley's whatever. place. Oh. But Brantley's one of those, he would talk you into doing it. I promise you. He would be like, well, if you'll do it, I'll do it. Yep. I mean, he's that guy. Yep. So. As bad as I want to meet him, it's probably a, a better idea if we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, bro, I'm telling you right now. Like, he's one of my best buddies in the world. And it's one of them, we don't talk all the time. We don't see each other all the time. But it's it's one of them where when he calls me or I call him, like, we pick up. And that's to me, that's a true friend. Like, you know you got to ride or die when you pick up the phone and you talk to that person it's just like we talked yesterday. Yeah. yeah. It might've been six pick months up where ago. He left off. Exactly. Like, Hey man. And you know, he called me the other day and we're talking, I don't even know what we're talking about, but that we brought up, you know, PBR bowls. And then he's like, man, you need to get up here to the farm and hang out. I mean, we ain't seen each other in forever. Yeah. And, and we went duck hunting in January. I think. Does he time. live like close to you or he's about three or four hours from me. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, It's yeah. not bad. Like we, and he's got an awesome farm. I can go stay up at his farmhouse and I can stay at his house. He don't care. I mean, and I love him. I love his family, his kids. I mean, it's it. They're good. People. He's really? like they are good, down to earth. Yeah, like, just humble. Yes, like I, and I and I mean, and he's my buddy, so I'm gonna say all the right stuff about him. But, yeah, yeah. But at the we end should, of the day, you should about your buddies. But man. I mean, at the end of the day, like he's my buddy for that reason. Like we've known each other 15 years. So I mean, yeah. it's like I knew this dude when, I mean, honestly, the first time we ever met was when Aldine cut uh, my kind of party. Mm-hmm. And that was the number one on the radio when Brantley and I hunted together the mm-hmm. first time we ever met. I, I was okay. just going to ask that, like, yep. did you guys meet yeah. through hunting? Yeah. yeah so, uh, uh, we Hi, had a common up. friend that was a singer songwriter in Valdosta, just just near where I live. And him and Brantley were buddies, and they were playing at a couple bars together and stuff. And he's like, "Man, you you and Brantley, y'all would get along, man. I need to get y'all in touch with each other." And me and him were about seven years apart in age, so it's not that bad. Is Brantley, Georgia, born and raised? Yeah. Then, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Oh, near hard. Athens, Georgia University. Oh yeah, go dogs. Yeah, oh, okay. go dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And he, hey, go dogs. dogs. Yeah. I'm I'm for it. <laughs> he's, he's he's die that hard. Dog in me. I don't uh, want to. Spy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> but um. But anyway, we met. Like he came to our family farm. And so, I mean, and honestly, like, see, like, seeing you, like, you and me with our tattoos and yeah, stuff yeah, and yeah. earrings, you know, you got earrings and yeah. stuff. Like, when Brantley showed up at the farm the first time, because he's got the, the oh, yeah, he wears like, like the, the, yeah, the, yeah, the hoops, you know, yeah. And, all that. and he, you know, has had his, you know, I think he had like one sleeve at the time or whatever. And I remember my dad going, Who in the hell you got coming <laughs> out of this car? Yeah. He pulls up in a blacked out excursion, like that they literally spray painted with flat black paint. <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah. And and he pulls up there and he gets out and I mean this is back when he drank and stuff so it was it was kind of I mean it was a fun time but it was kind of rough he don't remember a lot of it. rowdy but um but yeah my dad I mean because you know my dad's old school right oh, yeah. and I, and, yeah. and my dad's like one of the awesomest people in the world and I hope all y'all get to meet my dad but um Brantley pulls up I man I could just I can read my dad like you know he's like this son who is this you got <laughs> well, in my, in my head you know my I picture farm, old school you know? southern yeah. guy he's stereotyping yeah. like bible like, belt the, stereotype yes, but but honestly man after <laughs> about an hour like they were best buddies like, yeah like, oh, and Brantley yeah, yeah. this day would be like man I love your dad yeah yeah, yeah. And, that's not uh but it's that's not uncommon I think yeah you know yeah and I mean it's a southern I mean I'm not knocking anybody from the north but like southern thing like we're more hospitable I, I really feel like we open. Yeah, you guys are cooler. We, we open the doors like, hey, man, sure. don't come on in. Have, have, you know, have some biscuits and cornbread yeah, and bacon. Yeah. And let's, let's, you guys are you way know. cooler than us. Yeah, uh, nice way sure. cooler than us in the north. So yeah, we got bush light and bologna sandwiches. You know, I like bologna sandwiches. I do too. Yeah. PB and J. Yeah, I like. Well, I like. Yeah, I like. I like, I like PBR. I love. Just, uh, hey. I love, one of my favorite things in the world is a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Grilled. You ever done that? Oh. Grilled peanut butter. I'll fix the light and you You ever had peanut butter on a burger? Yes. That's awesome. Awesome. So I would like that. With with an egg and bacon, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just do the Uncrustable in a toaster oven. Same difference. So (laughs) Same but different. That's right. Okay, yeah, that'd be same but But do it like like mix your peanut butter and jelly together and then do it like a grilled cheese. 
Oh. All right. And I'm in the cast it, iron skillet. Butter the bread. Let it in. all melt down good and get gooey and then eat it and you what can think of it. Okay, I'm in. Oh, yeah. I'm in. I'm in for that. <laughs> Sounds awesome. I'm doing that tonight when I get uh-huh. home about 2 a.m. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and I, I'll be honest with you. I really don't know even where we're at in this conversation. No, I love <laughs> it. That's the best part about yeah. podcasting, man. You just yeah. roll. You've done a couple podcasts, I'm assuming, before us. I've done a lot of podcasts. I bet you have, yeah. dude, in 20 years. And well, yeah. Well, well, technically, I, be the actually, last like ten, 10 years. The last <laughs> yeah. ten, ten, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. funny. It's like yeah. you think that it's like, oh shit, yeah. Well, yeah. relatively ten. And and that's another thing I was gonna say. And I'm and I'm not not disrespecting you guys in any way when I say this, but like as as from what I do in the industry, you do every podcast you're invited to do. Yeah, because have, it's a yeah. good thing to get you out there. Because you never know. Like, I mean, you guys are honestly, from from my opinion. And I don't know stats or anything on it. And y'all know I'm a stat nerd. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but like you guys have like one of the biggest podcasts in our industry. Mm-hmm. And and that's kudos to y'all for building that up. I mean, that's very Thanks, respectful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I love that. And and that's what like I told her. I told Beth. I was like, I've got the opportunity to go and be on like one of the biggest podcasts, and I want to do it. Yeah. I mean, well, dude, you, you made not, the effort. Like you flew to us, which is like we're forever grateful. Like that's <laughs> fucking crazy to us. <laughs> yeah. And to like we, biggest or not, we don't really care about that. Yeah. Our goal is like with what we have that we want to build an experience you can't get at another podcast correct you know and that's yeah. like the depot is like it's just so perfect yeah you know like this the we want a vibe blanton we yeah. get the plant i mean yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Yeah. we, we got yeah. see we're just trying to spoil you that way yeah. you go to another podcast you got plantons for me i really what they're, think what they're really <laughs> trying to do is get me to come back yeah I, no, we're I, trying to go hunt georgia <laughs> hell yeah let's go <laughs> to get you is to it come working back, you'll be back <laughs> so I, far. I really think what happened was he's such a blanton's fan he's seen a picture with that in the background he's like I well, follow these all, guys. I sent him a podcast. picture. Of, oh, I don't know if he, I'm like, oh, I might be throwing you under the bus right now. Throw me under the bus. Is okay. Okay. We'll be there about 20 minutes or so. Beth is driving. I need a whiskey. <laughs> and I sent him a picture of our whiskey <laughs> shelf. Because she's driving and the wind today has been stupid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So she's Crazy. like, this sucks. I was like 10 and 2. Yeah. I was like, well, on the uh, road from the airport yeah. south to here is like, it's like no the, shoulder. No. It's right not up. good. Yeah. With no wind. No. Yeah. yeah, it's just brutal. But Hey, but I got us here. You did. You're here. I'm not knocking any of it. I mean, your name was on the room. You had to drive. <laughs> okay. well, you got the depot experience. You, you got, got the did. whiskey. It was great. You I, got I only had one beverage on the flight up here. So, I mean, yeah. It's doing pretty on a two-hour flight. Yeah. An hour and a half. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> hey, 20 years ago, what, like, network did you get on? Like, how, how did um, that all work in that? So, we, we first started on the local Fox affiliates. Oh, okay. So, like, it was... Oh, we didn't know what we were doing. Like, like Beth said earlier... How'd you was, figure... Did you, like, call them? Like, well, hey, we want on? Well, or? So, so Kevin that does the show with me, and he produces the show, um, he used to work at a TV station in Gainesville, Florida. It was a CBS affiliate, I think is what it was. Kevin, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. It was either ABC or CBS. So, mm-hmm. um, so Kevin knew enough about the TV industry to make the right phone calls and mm-hmm. talk to the right people. And he was like... Because, like she said earlier, we, we wanted to do DVDs. Like we didn't, we didn't know what we were doing. I mean, yeah. And I and I'm going to get. I want another point. I want to point out something. I got a bird to pick with the industry. After yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. But, uh, but with that being said, spicy. um, don't let me forget about that because you know okay. me and Squirrel <laughs> bird were, to pick. Yeah. Yep. Um. So with that being said, uh, Kevin made some phone calls and said, "Hey, man, like it's not going to be that expensive. I mean, like our first year airtime to get on those of Fox affiliates. It was in Columbus, Georgia, Tallahassee, Florida." Was it Albany? Albany, Georgia, I think. Yeah. There, there was three Fox affiliates, and um, which was good for me because, like, the the Albany, Georgia area, that's, like, where I'm from. Mm-hmm. So, like, the my hometown people got to see, like, oh. He's on TV. This dumbass yep. has got a TV show. Right. What yeah. the hell? This <laughs> IT nerd. Like, yeah. Yeah. get out of here. Look at this. Who lost a bet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, I did. They put him on TV. <laughs> they really? They ran out of people. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Uh, though. Really? Yeah. It, it was barrel. like, America's Got Talent. Not. <laughs> but, um, You're the winner. <laughs> yeah. I was the only one that went on the show. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's, yeah, because it's like right where you're yeah. at. You so, know? so, I mean, it was in our hometown pocket, and Kevin being from the North Florida area, Tallahassee was kind of his area. So, we, we kind of grew from drew from the hometown crowd and we got a few companies on board um to help us out and i'll say this hunter safety system y'all familiar with hunter safety yeah, system? Mm-hmm. For a long time. they wrote Dude, the pro series vest everybody wanted that shit because it was everywhere on tv it was the first safety harness to wear in the stand it's yeah. kind of like a jersey a team jersey exactly. for high yeah, right, yeah. honestly and you know what i'm talking about the yeah. mesh yeah. looking yeah. thing and i never I mean, had and, one but i wanted one 
Yeah, I couldn't find one my size. <laughs> I, I know a guy. We can, we can get y'all hooked up. Oh, I, okay. Hey, look, I'll get y'all in touch with those guys. Y'all okay. need to wear it. Y'all wear a safety harness, whatever. Okay, we'll scratch each other's um, backs. Yeah, we, I mean, look, we'll, t- we'll hey, talk hey, to Blanton's it, for it's you. Ne- <laughs> it's networking through Blackberry <laughs> Crown. Yeah, yeah. But, we um, know a guy. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about safety. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> safety first. Like, we're in a controlled environment, guys. Wear your hunter safety system yeah. when you're drinking Blanton's in the tree stand. I may need one hooked on this wall here in a minute. But but with all that being said, hunter safety system, they wrote us the first check we ever got in the outdoor oh that's awesome 20 years ago no shit like so that was one of those that they're from alabama i think we're in dadeville alabama um they took a chance on some down down (laughs) clueless rednecks at the time um but we knew what we wanted to do yeah but man in 04 i feel like you're i get what you're doing but in 04 guys with ambition that are figuring out how to get on this network in Georgia and Florida and Ohio, like that's a big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's work. I mean, in 04, especially yeah. like, yeah, there was no social media. You couldn't no. build a, so I mean, that's the ultimate it, hustle. It, it was like, it, and honestly, so my background being in computer information systems, having a bachelor's degree in that crap, um, I built <laughs> websites for money in college so that I could afford do anything to hunt <laughs> Basically. No, actually to, to, just to, pay uh, the bills i may have been a little bit of that a little bland uh, <laughs> uh, no there's no bland it, it, it was uh um, windsor light. whiskey it, yeah it was like um Maddie's. yeah thirsty thursday i don't know whatever they yeah, served 25 cent pitchers What's if up? you're lucky yeah every Dol- time the dollar. drain the train yeah. went by you got a shot of fireball <laughs> yeah. it was sink or swim remember that sink or swim that was exactly we what had it was. a bar in our town it was sink or swim yeah that sounds like and, a dangerous and, and, spot. Hey, look, this yes. one over here huh. she she's nice and pretty and innocent but she was i way swam in a lot she was in there so but with all that being said I'd like sink. didn't have a pot to piss in <laughs> i'm making websites to pay my way through college um and figure it out mm-hmm. and so um we didn't have anything but dot coms when yeah. we first started so we you know we actually started as southern backwoods adventures that was our first name and then i was like that's a horrible name <laughs> like you're pigeonholed to the south lot. and it's way too long it's and long. then i'm like backwoods life hmm that might work you know that's like, right that that's kind of short and sweet yeah and, mm-hmm. and and it's what i am people i mean i wear jordans and you know crap now but like that's not quote backwards if you look at people going out there and getting their water out of a well by bucket but at yeah. the end of the day that's what i grew up like yeah my yeah. dad bathed on a rock i mm-hmm. mean that's how old our family farm is and that's where i worked and learned and learned how to hunt and fish and my grandfathers and all that stuff so i mean i'm backwards as they get whether i look like it now or not i've earned the right not to mm-hmm. like, i don't okay, have sure. to bathe on a rock any damn well, no one you know? expects <laughs> you to stay stagnant and bathe on the rock forever yeah, exactly you know, I mean, get that promotion yeah, just like jimmy john yeah <laughs> work hard to afford an icer truck and exactly. get a better mattress right. and all this and, shit and, yeah. and so in, in the outdoor industry man like I'll, I'll make posts now and i mean i've worked my ass off for 20 years or more now i mean i've literally, literally really have and she she's got my back i know but like there's days she just looks at me and she's like you're you're tired because i don't stop yeah but you mm-hmm. can't stop in this no, industry you, you can't if, if you stop someone's going to catch up with you mm-hmm. and i mean i'm not getting any younger um but again I've, I've gone through the gauntlet of hunts i've gone through the gauntlets of advertisers and having to deal with you know personnel changes and and all this stuff and not being a a, a person or a brand that's been pushed by the industry, uh, you know, with a big name title sponsor to, 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 and I'm not knocking anybody like, yeah, trust me. I, I, I admire everybody that's hustled in this industry. You know, the Waddells of the world, the bone collector guys, Lee and Tiffany. I mean, the juries, all of them, they, they've all worked. I'm mm-hmm. not saying anybody's just been like, Oh, here's a silver platter. Right. right. I mean, there's probably some out there, but I'm not gonna call anybody out. out. I mean, that's not my job. Yeah. But I've always been the guy that I hadn't been the most popular guy in the room. Not because I'm not a cool guy, because I think I'm awesome. <laughs> I think you're pretty cool. But you know, that, it's I think like, you're pretty cool. I, I'm just, I mean, I've been the six foot three redheaded guy my whole life. You know, I mean, I was the guy that nobody, nobody wanted to be friends with because I just didn't look like everybody else, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I get six foot three and I outgrew everybody and I'm stronger than everybody and I got tattoos all over me now. She got tattoos walk, like do, 15 years ago. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> but like I walk through the airports and I mean, like you can see people just going like, I wonder who that guy is. Yeah. You know, it just got to look different. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? I haven't, I haven't, I mean, because y'all got to admit, like in this outdoor industry, if you're a five ten, six foot tall, dark hair, 
bearded guy, you look like every freaking body. Yeah. 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 You yeah. are, you are, you are main, like you are the middle of the road guy. Yeah. And I'm not knocking anybody. Like you do you and you be your style. Like Doug, rocking the stash, man. That's <laughs> awesome. Me and you, like mm. we got the tattoo thing going. Like I dig it. Yeah. I'm Eric, just an idiot. You Eric's, kind of fit in with everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not, Eric, Eric killed the giraffe. Like, got, we got to get you hey, some more tattoos. Yeah, he's, got, he's, he's creeping fun. down. He's creeping, creeping down. down. He's Eric, coming in. Uh, face tattoo. No, but, but just go for it. <laughs> Skip it all. Hey, <laughs> you have to do it. Go, go big or go home. Yeah. Go, yeah. go post Malone. Always tired. Yeah. Always yeah. tired. Always <laughs> tired. Little or, sleepy or, guy. Or Blanton and Crown. Whatever you want to do. I don't care. Hey, Brandon. She's going to get weird. Brand deal. Get a brand deal. Hey, you never know, man. Dude, I think. You're cutting yourself short a little bit, and, and it's, you're humble. But I feel we meet a lot of people in the game. Now we've met a lot of people sure. after podcasting, and there's certain people that come, you know everybody's been cool. Ninety five percent. Oh yeah. Ninety eight percent of people have been really awesome. I do want to talk about the two percent though. We'll talk about the two percent, <laughs> and I gotta get back to who yes. you want to get at. Tip for tip. But yeah. but let me give you this. Yeah. We meet a lot of people, and a lot of people now, almost everybody, we've, in 2024, every podcast has been in person except for T-Bone, and T-Bone gets the pass. Respect, yeah. Yep. And uh, so we meet a lot of people, hang out, just how we hung out tonight, go get dinner and everything, and there's people that come in, and most people that we have come in, we think are cool or want to talk to or are interested in conversation. If we're not, we just don't do podcasts that we're not interested mm -hmm. in any, anymore, we're fortunate. Sure. And you catch on to like... This might sound weird, but hear me out. Like the aura of someone's personality. Yeah. And people who who we want to talk to, a lot of them have that like aura or it's like a charisma thing. And that's why their show has worked for 20 years. Yeah. And that's why I met, met with hard work. Yeah. But yeah. if you sucked, you we wouldn't be having <laughs> beers and having fun yeah. like we're having right now. Like and no, we no. met tonight yeah, in yeah. person tonight. Sure, sure. Like you have that charisma you have that aura to your personality like waddell is like the shine example of charismatic and yeah. fun and an entertainer you have that you know yeah. the mcferrans have that sure mm -hmm. you know mark jury has right. that like there's and there's a ton of people who aren't on television that are just big butt killers that are good personalities that we right. have in here that still they have that yeah in their own way um so you definitely have that I, I, yeah, so, I appreciate that. But yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Look a little different, whatever, you know. Yeah. But uh, no, dude, you're fun. Yeah, and you yeah. to kill shit. And, and, uh, and we and, do and, too. <laughs> and, and see, but and, and, and she'll vouch for this. I'm one of those guys, like, and it, I don't know. I mean, if you believe in astrology stuff or whatever, like being a Gemini, <laughs> bro. Yeah. <laughs> we fucked I feel up. like only strippers believe in uh, oh. Geminis. What's wrong with strippers? <laughs> 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 Oh, not the strippers and Gemini. I just feel like every well, not that I've met many strippers in my day, but everyone just Doug. Well, I'm, I just boxed myself in a corner here, yeah, you pretty much. Um, yeah. You know yeah. what? I'll own it. I've met a lot of strippers, right? and I don't know why they tend to find me uh, and, at uh, gas stations and stuff. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, they're Never always like, work. "Oh, are you a Virgo?" I'm just like, "Ah, man." I'm not believing in your witchcraft, lady. <laughs> yeah. Man, she's just trying to get that five dollars out your yeah, pocket. I'm like, she here's a care. dollar, leave me yeah. alone. <laughs> but but yeah, but my point is like sorry, um, that was a joke. No, it's That's it's all point. good. I agree with you. Sorry, sugar. Um, sorry, I got five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um, cinnamon. <laughs> See you on Tuesday. Sapphire to the stage. <laughs> oh, dude, that's one of my bucket list things. I want to be a strip club DJ for a night. Dude, that oh, would be so that would awesome. be awesome. I'd be pretty good. Hey, I think she would be there with like she wants to go with you when you do that. All right. Like she's it. You can be like my assist. Yeah, oh, I'm on it. And, right, and she, but it. she's gonna be like the stripper critique. Like, get your ass off the stage. <laughs> you don't need to be I'll there. Do the, I'll Tim, do, well, didn't I support. talk about that on the Tim Sylvia episode? <laughs> exactly. He's yeah, like, that's... dude, I could make that happen. I know the guy owns Dukes in Davenport. I'm like, let's do this. I do it for free. Oh, I'll, do it. I'll do it for drinks. Uh, oh, can I go? That'd be fun. <laughs> Just call yeah, me. Do it. We'll dude. come support you. Yeah, you got a CDL, like, you get in for free. Not hey, that I know, <laughs> but hey, like, but I have a CDL. It's like three minutes from my house. Let's go. Hey Doug, can we run the champagne room that night? Oh, bottle service, baby. Uh, box of wine. I don't know if they have that there. <laughs> oh, I don't think they do. Anyway, we're going off the rails. I totally yeah. forgot where really I was going with all this. We're just having fun. Yeah, that's all much. it needs to be. What's um, bother you? You something? You had a bird to pick? Oh, so uh, bone oh, to pick. Here we go. Bone to pick. Burr. Oh, it's burr up your ass if you're from the south. Burr up your so, ass. Okay. Yeah, bone like, to pick. And, and anyway, so same, same but different. <laughs> yes. Um. So we were talking about the artist, like uh, singer Hardy. Before we came, yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Yep. So anybody listen to this? If you don't listen, to Hardy, 
yeah, we might not be. We always got fan. music playing in the studio, so yeah, it came on. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. So, and uh, Hardy's got this song. It's called "Kill Shit Till I Die." Mm-hmm. So that's my theme song. So y'all go look that up if you never heard it. But um, he's got another song called "Quit." Mm-hmm. Have y'all heard that one? I bet you I have, but I don't know. It's, it right it's now. a it's like a song that he wrote, and it's like a almost like a it's a, like a rap, it's like a rap thing. kind of song. Yeah. I, I love it because he was playing bars in Nashville trying to make it, and in his tip jar. Somebody took a napkin and wrote quit on it and put it in his tip jar. Oh, mm. damn. And dude, that's like. So he wrote a song off of that. He wrote a song off Basically of that. Basically, like, fuck you. Well, I love Look that. at me now. Hey, she dropped the first F bomb of the show. <laughs> oh, right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, then. Hold on, hold I'm on. Gonna, hell yeah. Let me I'm see gonna... if I got the right button here. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> nope. Oh, that worked. <laughs> nope. Wrong button. Oh, yeah. We rocked that one. I mixed my buttons up again. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. We're on a roll now. But someone so, else wrote in the buttons. So, so Hardy wrote this song called Quit. Mm-hmm. And it's basically telling this guy, like, you motivated me to just give you the middle finger. And yeah. at the end of the song, he's just like a hardcore metal. Fuck oh, yeah. So like, up. And it's awesome. So when you y'all need to listen to that song. Copyright would probably get us, but big time. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but uh, we'll do it later. Hey, look, I know people that He's know people. It. Maybe we can make some phone calls and make yeah. it work. Yeah, I don't, don't want to get your right. episode pulled because yeah. I played yeah. the song like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll get it. Shit, it won't be the first time I got pulled. <laughs> but um, with that being said, I listened to that song one day, and I'm driving down the road, and I'm going like, man, that shit hits home, because again, going back to 2004, five, six, whatever people say in Man, you're never gonna make it. You know, people hating. Mean, yeah, you're just like, why? Well, you never. I mean, and don't get me wrong. Though, I mean, it was years before we even made a dime. Like it was days where yeah. Kevin and I would get on the phone, but like, man, this might I, be it. Yeah, like, this, like this, literally, this. Yeah, this, like boys to men, like straight up into the road, bro. We were fixing <laughs> slow dance in the corner. You know what I mean? It's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Um, and then. About you to know, be a DJ for strippers. Yeah. Well, you yeah. gotta. This hey. may have been a very more lucrative career. <laughs> Good, but, uh, probably initially, but yeah. but it would have. Uh, I get it though. Everyone's like, "Well, it's not about the money." But man, the time and the work you put in, you gotta right. you gotta make some money. But but with that being said, we had a sponsor at that time that um, they didn't want to pay us all their money, and we're like, "Okay, this let's meet face to face." And we met face to face. I'm not going to say who it was, or I'm not, you know, never throw anybody under the bus. But we met face to face. And I remember one of their guys that was at the time, he was like some big dog champion at some thing in the industry. I'm just going to, I don't want to be only very vague. Yeah. Um, hmm. And he sat down at a table with us. It's the owner and this guy, me and Kevin and Trey. Excuse me. And this guy said, well, we don't really want to pay you to be road trips on a budget. Mm. Like referring to real true real true road trips on a budget. That's what he said. Like he may have said real true. Real, we don't want you. We, you know, we don't. We you're just trying to be real tree road trips on a budget. Mm. And dude, that hit me in the core. Like, yeah, that's a diss. Like I'm like, yeah. I mean, okay, I respect if you're. That's what you think. I respect everybody's opinion. But like, you just lit a fire under my ass. Right. Yeah. Like. You can kiss my ass. Like, it's pretty, well, <laughs> being who we were back then, he's lucky we didn't have a damn fight right there. In the yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, you know, I mean, I'm not a fighter. I don't like to fight. I don't like getting hit. But shit, you're going to know I'm there. That's kicking you in yeah. the pants. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. like, that's, that's his, I mean. That was your napkin moment. And I'm not exactly my point <laughs> with that song. That was like. That's your quick and, moment. And, and Kevin, you know, when he hears this, he's going to be like, hell yeah. Because Kevin, one of the things, like, I love him. Um but when he gets wound up, like his <laughs> neck starts turning red. Like you know he how, starts like, at the chest like and it goes exactly. up Exactly. There's, there's a few people like when they have a couple of drinks, you know, they get the, yeah, little, yeah, get yeah. the little, yeah. little hives looking thing. I get that like, every once in a while. Like, dude, yeah. he started getting, it, it shit started going up his neck. And I was like, oh, Like you can literally shit. see his like, blood pressure kind of, like, like going he's, up. He's, he's, he's getting pissed. Uh, and I've seen that a few times over the industry. I mean, it, it happens. But um, with all that being said, it's like, and and funny thing is now, that guy that said that, He's nowhere to be found. Mm. And here we are. Yeah. 20 years later. We're still here, still doing us. He's a fart in the wind. So if the owner watches you guys' podcast or listens to this, he's going to know. Because he's going to remember that moment when that was said. And I'm not knocking hey, him. Let's cheers him. Let's yeah, cheers exactly. him. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, hey, cheers to that guy. Cheers, cheers for the guy. napkin moment. Yeah, yeah. that guy. Kiss his ass. So, so with that being said, I'm <laughs> not knocking his company. I'm not knocking his, his product. I'm not knocking his people. But maybe I'm saying thank you. 
for motivating your napkin even moment. harder. You went hard, yeah. You still owe my ass some money though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's people, people don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> we've never, we've, had, I'm sure if we wanted to dig something up like that, we could probably find something. But we had, uh, we emailed some guys early on, and we were at, we were still attached to an email, and the guy forwarded it. He was like, "See if they're worth my time." Yep. And then, oh, um, then we ghosted them. And then they re- reached out like every three months to try to get a show scheduled, and we never did it. And then, H- have you done it? No, the guy died actually. Damn. So oh, then I was wow. like, "That's a different turn." Then he I was ran. like, <laughs> "He ran out of time." Okay, well, <laughs> goddamn, done. R.I.P. Uh, then, Sorry, I, then I was like, <laughs> "Fuck, maybe that dude was pretty cool, and maybe we just caught him on a bad day, but we'll never know." Yeah, maybe. Not that yeah. it, like I never, I wasn't like, man, there wasn't really a napkin moment. It well, wasn't that hard. I, I get you with that, man. But at the end of the day, it goes back full circle to me to say this because I work in this. I've worked on. I've worked on every angle in this industry from advertising, marketing. I work with shows. I work with, you know, a, as a show. I work. I mean, influencers. You. I mean, dude. I've, I've I've covered every aspect in twenty years of this stuff. I mean, podcast. I mean, everything. I've I've worked with people on stuff I didn't even know anything about, but I learned about it. Yeah. It doesn't cost anything to be cool to somebody. Like that's a good. I, I if you guys came and, and said, "Hey man, we want to work with you, whatever." I, man, I, I I want to, but I can't do it right now. Just respect me to say, "Hey, look, I, it's not personal. It's mm-hmm. business." Yeah. Right? But but treat it that way and treat people like you want to be treated. Don't be the guy that doesn't call back, that doesn't answer an email, that strings you along for six months and says, "Oh, we're going to do something. We're going to do something. We're going to do something. We're going to do something." Then, oh man, sorry. We can't. I mean, just say no. Yeah, right. Just be straight really up with me. Just say, like up. we've talked about earlier, no is the second best answer you can get, especially in this industry, because you can go work with for another company, go talk to somebody else, or right. reevaluate what you're doing in a different direction. You're helping people by telling them no. Mm-hmm. You really are. Right. You're, you're not wasting their time. And that this industry is point. full of freaking time wasters. It it honestly is, yeah. It is, man. It is. Because I get it. It's hard to say no. Because you don't want to say no. Yeah. But you have to say no. Well, it's like it's better to just be in a small space, like the world of hunting with relationships. It's better just be as honest and straightforward as you can. Because then you're just like, you're trying to do this weird avoidance thing or chase your tail. Yeah. It's just like, just operate as upfront as you can. Exactly. And this industry is so big, but so small. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows. I mean, you guys God, know a it's ton of people so that I know. Small. Oh, yeah. So small. So small. And, and I know a ton of people, the guys that, that you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, we work with some of the same companies. Like we, we've Elite. been around each other, whether y'all know it or not. We've been around each other a few times. Yeah. So we yeah. talked about this yeah. before you got here. I'm like, I know we've we yeah. probably met. Iowa Deer Classic two year two or three years ago. Because Doug, we oh, were yeah. in simulation at the bar like, earlier. And dude, we're like, I've met him. And we're like, before. we've drank yeah. beer with this guy. I think yeah. somewhere. <laughs> I've, we've and and Spy Point. Yes, yeah, we've been to dinner at the same at dinner. Okay, uh, but, that's but why I said we didn't like, like sit beside each other. We we're like, so opposite. we didn't ever talk. So we didn't ever talk. I got in trouble <laughs> there. Well, you got in trouble at the dinner. Oh, we well, gotta talk about what, that. what happened. You, well, uh, so they speak French. You didn't oh, really yeah. get in trouble. Like, yeah, I well, guess so. we were kind of like probably shouldn't have done that. Hey, d- Doug state. getting in trouble is brought to you by Crown Royal Blackberry that Mike was trying for the first time. This segment, this segment, Doug try it. He's trying it. You guys got to do a little birthday shout on the on the pod tonight. Oh, we already <laughs> did one. We did that peppermint crap. Y'all made me drink. Rumpelman. That was good. What are you talking about? It was good. Rumpelman. But yeah, yeah, so that's what I said, Sorry. too, when we were talking. I'm like, we ate at the same dinner table, guaranteed, but just, well, t- it could have been two dinner tables. Sure. But yeah. We all, we, we talked about this. We, we, close enough, but not we, but we never impact. Full, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like right. a where real. Was, where was that, the Iowa Deer Classic? Um, you guys were actually right across the aisle from us. We were at Outdoor Dan. Right oh, with Larry Mack. Larry and I, Mack. Yeah. And oh, dude, what yeah, the fuck? How did okay. we not put that? Well, I mean, we were, uh, Kevin and I, we were doing seminars. We, we were on there one time, but y'all were like uh, right across from us. Yeah. And there was, I forgot, dude, I'm, I'm terrible with names. I remember faces forever. But we helped uh, somebody that was with y'all out with their their presentation or computer or oh whatever. would have it's, been uh, uh yeah Clint. yeah we'll talk about that later yeah right? anyway that, <laughs> yeah. that so we helped somebody out and and I, but i don't think we ever like shook hands and said hey how are you doing yeah like, i mean it was just like head nod across the aisle like what's up you know what i mean yeah and, yeah yeah that's so funny now it, it's crazy that you you and i mean and i'm one of them like hey I'm, you know what yeah blame larry mack I will blame you, Larry. He didn't introduce us. Damn what the Larry, fuck, Larry? You're fired, rude. Larry. That's really rude. rude of him. How <laughs> dare Larry not make a formal introduction? Exactly. And I've known Larry since Larry was Larry. <laughs> Before the vest? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before I know, I knew Larry when he was a Heartland bow hunter. Yeah. OG uh, Larry. Yeah. The best vest mm, yeah. in all the land. No doubt. <laughs> best hey, best Larry, vest in the West. Larry and I. Whether, He's supposed to go to Africa with me. Whether whether, whether it we can we can't prove this at all, but I believe Larry and I shot the first t- turkey ever that was videoed with an iPhone. I, I would oh. say you could claim that. Yeah. We and I don't that. know any details on it. But we it we did like that in cool. Nebraska. Like, I mean, it's been a minute. It was me and Larry and Kevin and Philip Vanderpool. We were hunting with Brady Rasmussen in Nebraska, and um, Old I, Phil. I was trying to I was trying to finish a slant, one of my slams, and uh, we went out there. I love Philip. Dude, way. we got to get Philip back on. Holy shit, we haven't had Philip oh, on in a man, while. Y'all some of them cold beers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boys. Cold let boys. me tell you, let boys. me tell y'all, let let me tell old, you. old sad daddy, come out there. <laughs> I, he gets all excited. I, I like, Larry, I mean, so so Larry and I killed a tur- like we we. Ki- me and Kevin and Larry were set up on these birds, and they worked behind us around this ridge. And uh, I was like, Larry, I'm going to go find them right quick. And I, Larry's like, well, heck, I'm going to go with you. <laughs> well, well, bring the gun if you're going to go with me. And we snuck around, and I'm like, there they are. They're like 70 yards away. You and Larry are two peas in a pod, aren't you? Oh, dude, it's money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and then I'm like. I can see it. And then Larry's like, we ain't got a camera. I was like, I do. Put out my phone. And we crept up there like about 50 yards. And I was like, smoke him. And Larry roasted him out there about 50 yards. And I filmed it with my iPhone. We use it on the show. Like, it was when iPhone, like, the Dude, first, that's first awesome. Was it like an iPhone 6? My God, we ain't that old, are we? <laughs> Shit. But it, it, was, it, was four, it was 4K, whatever. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first 4K iPhone. But anyway, we, like, we, like, we use it on network TV. Like, See, that's, that's cool. That's how good quality. We so, should call so, Larry right yeah. now. So me and Larry were like, he's in we Canada. Just, so. We just invented iPhone outdoors. Yeah, he is. He's iPhone outdoors. outdoors. <laughs> yeah, we invented iPhone outdoors. But Philip Vanderpool was on that hunt, and Philip, Philip was the only one that didn't kill a turkey. And, um, but I, I admire Philip because, you know, he's like, he takes film and turkey hunting to like the nth degree. <laughs> like me, I'm just yeah. like, let's just shoot him in the face, right? Yeah. Well, right? Philip's like, is, would you consider him like ultra old school TV guy? Yes. Like he's still yeah, kind of he, in, he's, which is cool. Yeah, he's been around longer, way longer than me. Primetime. Did he yeah. start on Prime? What did he start on? Uh, Hunter, Hunter Specialty. Hunter Specialty. Primetime Bucks. Bucks. Yeah. Well, that's back when. Was they, that was a Hunter Specialty's production was Primetime Bucks, yeah, right? Yeah, I think yeah. that's right. It was, because it, that's back when, like, you could make money with DVDs. Like, when we started, that's what we were going to do. Yeah. Because, like, <laughs> Realtree and Primos and all, I mean, they made millions a year on DVDs. Dude, yeah. the DVDs were the coolest, man. But now, like, who, who's Bucks even fight. got a DVD player? That's awesome. Dude, we got one. Um, Eric's supposed to weld us together an entertainment system, and it hasn't happened yet. Mm. What but the hell? How many DVDs we got in the studio Slacker. right now? In storage right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet I, you, I trust me. I, I bet you we have VHS 700 VHS and oh, hunting DVDs. Oh, wow. Really? I would put my collection against anybody's, man. That's awesome. I got, I, I, I'm a fan. Oh, what? There's I a I metric still, shit ton. Let's just say that. It's, <laughs> it's so much, we haven't been able to use this closet over here. For storage. Wow. So it will date myself back to we used to film when we first started filming, we filmed on high eight videotapes. Yeah, like the, 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 they were like, yeah, yep. like that. Mm-hmm. And then we went to mini DV. Oh, the little mini and tiny I've got, DVD. I've got a yeah, drawer like, on my desk just slapped full of yes. all the yep. years Still, of footage huh? of that. And then we went obviously to memory cards. Yeah, so, right, right. So now, and, and that's, you know, that's where we're at. But I love that, dude. Like, I get, I don't know, I bet you we lose some listeners because that the era, I don't really know what era we would be of hunting. Cause, We're right, like in the mixture of everything. So let, let me kind of break this down, because this is the way I think about things. I grew up a BMX kid. Okay. So I would be considered like a mid-school BMX guy. So there's like old school, which is a certain style bike, certain style gear. Well, at the time, we didn't know it. It was old school or what we were. But now it's considered mid-school, which would be like late 90s to like middle 2000s. And mid-school BMX bikes have a certain look and... Uh, it just it has evolved. So there's like what's new school now. Mm-hmm. So mid school is the era of BMX I came from, and I consider the hunting era that I'm from, that we're all from, is the same. Like the late '90s to mid 2000s, like oh six oh seven was mm-hmm. like where our obsessions all started. Yeah. You know, oh, up until yeah. we were like 16, 17 okay. years old. So I'm talking like. The Cabela's Master Catalog days, oh, the yeah. Monster yeah. Buck DVD VHS yeah. days, like, White Tails in the Wild. What? That was the first real tree yes. VHS. Very first, and then Monster that, Buck and, started on number yeah, two, right? Yeah. And then because uh, White Tails in the Wild was Bill and David, um, then they filmed in Georgia at Callaway Gardens, 
which it and it's right right there around Columbus. What's what is it like a park or something? It's a family that had like it's Callaway Garden is a is like a big a park. Like they have like little Christmas lights and people go out. But yeah. the Callaway family owned a bunch of land. Oh, so oh. they had a bunch of hunting land in there. And this was before Real Tree Farms. Oh, like, okay, and okay. then, then Bill because Real Tree yeah. Farms is yeah. when they would film like the archery tournaments over that lake. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me go. I'm gonna go grab something because it might. Carry on. It might flop this and might not apply, but I want to double check. So I got a VHS tape out here. I want to grab one. Oh, okay. He's got to go back and look for a VHS. He's looking, he's looking for Debbie Does Dallas or something like that. You know? yeah, there, there's probably listeners right now that That's don't know what a collection. VHS is. Oh, so put it this way. So one of my one of my best friends, uh, he's a couple years younger than me. His son, who is 19, came to my house um, a few weeks ago. Like we were getting ready to go on a turkey hunt. And I, I pulled out, I got a tote with just a bunch of like calls in it, like elk calls, turkey calls, deer calls, Random all that stuff. shit in it. And dude, there's like, I mean, there's shit from the 90s in there, right? And <laughs> I pulled out one and it's got like a cassette tape you put in a, a tape player. A cassette player. Yeah. 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 You know, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know, yeah, I know. Too little about. thing. You yeah. back, you're back. <laughs> yeah. I gotta remember. That's how I learned how to use a duck call. Well, that's uh, what I'm saying. So this was like, you this, to this one, tape. Yeah. this one was elk call. And I, I picked that v, that little cassette tape up, you know, and um, I, I his name's Cooper Cooper Melvin, and he's an awesome kid. Loves to hunt, like he 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 would hunt rather than breathe, and which is awesome for a nineteen year old right now. And I said, Cooper, have you ever seen one of these? He goes, What is that? <laughs> Never seen a cassette tape. No shit ever. That's a funny story because like I mean, nineteen I grew, years old. You mean you yeah. gotta think about that? Yeah. yeah, it'd be like us in a track. Yeah. Growing yeah. up, I saw that very, very early in my life. My All right, dad. so here I grabbed this real quick. I grabbed this VHS. So a lot of people don't know, Monster Bucks was a Drury production before it was a Real Tree production. <laughs> and there's, gotcha. there's a story with all that. Um, I don't copyright. Uh, maybe I'll see if I can get Mark to tell it. Mm -hmm. It's all fair. Bill and Mark had a conversation, and it ended up because so. Mark gifted me. Well, I can't remember who gifted me this. I'm sorry if you're listening. Maybe it was Mark. But Monster Bucks is Drury Outdoors with Mark Drury, Terry Drury, and Steve Stoltz is on here. I got to get Steve to sign this fucking thing. <laughs> but it's Monster Bucks 3 Drury Outdoors, 100% uh, Wild, 100% Fair Chase. Like they still put on some older well, when they yeah. made videos. Yeah. But uh, I had Mark sign it. Dude, it's still in the plastic. Yeah. Still in the package. Still yeah. in the plastic. Yeah. And I was trying to look for a date on this. I was going to. I want to say this is 90. There's got to be a date on it. Two? Four, oh, that early. You, 93? Yeah. Copyright dates. I would say it's, I would say 93. Girl, if back I had then, to, they didn't have copyrights. We didn't know, but nobody knew what that was. 1996. <laughs> Six. It says 96 on it? It's that late? Right here. See it right. That's what I was looking for. That was my first year. No, I'm just kidding. 96. <laughs> so what year was Monster Bucks? Real Tree Monster Bucks. I don't remember. Fuck, I have, I have the first Real Tree Monster Bucks. I don't think. I. I have white tails in the wild too. Yeah, the, I think. Um, Isn't that cool though? Just to that like, is pretty cool, man. Like that's. I have a whole library of those. That's really awesome because not many people keep these in it like that. Um, I held on to one of them with um, the one of the monster box that had Daryl Daryl Earnhardt in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got that one. Because, I have them. I have because them I was a big Earnhardt fan. I yeah, that was like I, Monster Bucks yeah. was too. seven, something like that. <laughs> I am. I've, that's my whole look. Yeah, yeah I've, I've kind of seen. I kind but of I just thought that, that was neat. Yeah. That I don't. I just love that stuff. That's why you would like my dad because he's got the mustache. And like when my dad was younger, people were like, "Man, he looked just like Dale Earnhardt." That's funny. And like my dad and Dale who's Earnhardt, the better Earnhardt, mustache? Earnhardt, Earnhardt, huh? Who's a better mustache, me or your dad? Oh, oh. my dad's got one. He's got one that he'll it's rival right you there, any buddy. day. I brought well, the compare. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Big Mike, you got somebody coming. Yeah. So his <laughs> but, sister has never seen his dad without, without a mustache. mustache. My sister's 42. 42. Never seen wow. my dad without Yes. I seen my dad without a mustache once. Yeah. You All right. I'm 34. I got a but, weird mustache question. Hear me out. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. That long, how many mustaches have grown and shed? You know what I'm saying? Because the that mustache, oh, see, the yeah. same hairs don't just stay. Yeah, they fall. It's out. like the hair on your head, right? Oh, of my dad. Yeah, like a hundred, probably a million. Like, oh, probably, way one more than a, that. probably one a year. I mean, minimum. <laughs> Dude, I lose a bunch. All it's like time. an exoskeleton. I didn't even thought about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. You're just yeah, probably millions of hairs. It's just it's just growing. 
Have you just never trimmed it? So, but so the, the other trivial fact is, give me that thing. You're like my it. my dad, you're gonna and break da- it. <laughs> when, when Dale Earnhardt passed away, like in in the wreck, like that's what affected me a little bit because my dad and him were the same age. Oh really? Oh, yeah. So it was like, damn man, damn that could have been my dad. And like me and Dale Jr. Jr. are the same age. Damn. Yeah, we're old as fuck. <laughs> you're not that old man easy easy i like talking about that uh, she's young by the way <laughs> you look young yeah. thank you thank you, you. she young. works out yeah a lot got it. just fyi i want uh side note yeah sidebar like i like you uh, suits did y'all watch suits no no oh no. my gosh you yeah, have watch, to watch suits uh, do like no, y'all, if y'all are watching series. this and listening to this like we're so off camera. topic right now this camera. This, yeah, yeah i'm, I'm not them. even over there <laughs> I'm over here. I'm not like, we're, like, we're, hey, we're we so off that. topic. This is what Doug, but, uh, we're just talking. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're so off topic. Right? That's the right? thing where we will but, do it different is like, we're not like, okay, um, let's get back to the tips. We might start playing a game of euchre here in a second. Uh, yeah. exactly. yeah. Ball four, ball 12. <laughs> anyway, um, you forgot but, what Trump was. But with... Uh, <laughs> we got a fly in here and I'm just eyeballing. I'm so, we, we got a salt gun at the end uh, of the table. We need Jordan. We've been doing construction on the... Yeah, give me that, baby. Yeah, buddy. It's hot. We've been doing construction, so our doors are open. So there's been a fly infestation. Yeah. Um, but with that being said, like we 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 binge watch Suits or whatever. So I, I'm like a big law. I like, y'all know I'm a nerd already, but like I'm a big, I'm, I'm big legal. Like law, I love law. Uh-huh. Like people even told me that have worked with me in the past. Like you should have been a lawyer because like I'm one I of them. I told like, you that. I, well, I mean a lot of people. Well, yeah, but people were saying. Me. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Live with it. <laughs> but with that being said, like I mean, you know, it is when you're right, you know, you're right. So you're gonna prove that you're right, and that's what lawyers do. They prove yeah. whatever. So watch suits. And anyway, that's why I said sidebar. So I got legal tangent on here. And then I was gonna say on my sidebar here that the blackberry crown is really good. Do you like? I'm to, I'll the sample. I'm, I've yeah. been staring at it. I mix Blanton's with ginger ale, and I'm just offending the whiskey community. My bad, but it's pretty good. Yeah, you pretty much are. I'm just working through it. That's all. I'm we don't, ju- we don't judge. We don't judge. Just we, having a good time. I mean, you know, we got. It's a long podcast. So. <laughs> hey, we're we're just we're in it for the hall, man. We're Here, go get some cups. Hall. Hey, how'd you meet the McFerrins? <laughs> so, um, so McFerrins is Jordan. for people who obviously they should know who the McFerrins are. But I hunted with them for yeah. the first time ever with Joe with Big Time. Mm-hmm. Legends I, of the Fall. They're the yeah. best. Yeah. Holy they're fuck, they're the best. Amazing um, people. I, I, I met, they talked uh, about you when we were down there. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Connected to the story. That, came, that might not be good. <laughs> it was good. It was okay. Good. Thank y'all. Do I okay, actually read, you want to hear something funny? <laughs> yeah. I reached out to them. I said, hey, what do you got? Dirt <laughs> that I can like, bring up. And you know what? They didn't throw you under the bus. They didn't. <laughs> I'm trying to think if they got anything. We've had some good times, but there's no dirt. Yeah, but the, like yeah. they're like us, like that. They're, they're they are I mean, salt of the they're, earth. They are they're some of the best people in the world. Like I love them to death. I love hunting down there with them. Like they're fun. You go down there every year. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a magical yeah. place. Yes, it, it is. Probably, the work they put in is cr- now, and that's what people don't realize when they see one. They killed some of the biggest white tails. In North America, in my opinion, uh-huh. like they, they well, are, didn't Bonnie had the record uh, biggest buck um, with a bu- archery buck by a female? It might be. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I we, they're pretty sure she did at one point. But the thing is, they, they don't talk about stuff like that. Like they're so humble about it. Like Mike's like, like, yeah, oh, we killed a 180, 190, 200. Yeah. I'm like, or she'll text me well, and she'll be dude. like, I'm at the <laughs> ranch. I killed a deer today, and I'm like, oh, you did? Send me a picture. And she'll be like, oh, here it is. And like, that's it. It's a I mean, giant. You and know don't get I me mean? wrong. It's I mean, giant. It's great. Yeah, yeah, but it's. Like a, like a 180. 190. 180. And, and two, and push so, it like, 200. And I get it. I mean, it's South Texas. It's like the holy grail of whitetail. Like right. South yeah. Texas. I mean, I'm not knocking anywhere else. Like Kansas is awesome. Canada's awesome. I mean, heck, Illinois has got some great deer. Iowa's got some giants. There's so much big deer like that we're blessed with to see and, you know, that people you know, get to shoot every year. But when it comes to if I'm going to put my money in the bank on consistency, it's going to be South Texas. Mm-hmm. Really, they, I, they, absolutely, I, I dude. They have got the management that, like the King Ranch down there, has got the management and that whole area, like the King, the Kennedy, all them down there. They have got management to, like, they it's know, like it's, they, it's a precise. They, they know like the year, arc. like at yeah. this age, you shoot these bucks, and yep. and and Mike's got some unbelievable property they did nothing but impress me with like how their man like how much they care for everything yeah. yes and the work they put in mike's had that lease Fuck since that. he was t- like 19 or it's 20 he's super hunting, young he's hunting on that ranch for like 
I mean, most of his life. I just yeah. sent him a picture of you guys, by the way, on the mic. So if there's dirt, <laughs> we're going to get it live. <laughs> like, like, ask him about the time he missed one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like, but, I, I, like, I was just kind of, and what was cool when I was down there, I'd met him on the spot. Like, hey, I'm at your ranch. <laughs> and so I kind of felt guilty a little, but they were like so welcoming. And I'm like quizzing yeah. them, like, dude, explain this to me. And we and we got into it a little bit on that podcast in camp, and dude, they're, they're the best. And yeah. I just I wanted to give them a little bit of credit because sure. how good of people sure. they are. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And I want to do a dude. My goal, Georgia Kate is a national treasure, man. <laughs> she is GK she, for president. Y- y'all, y'all have heard oh, of Walker, same. Texas Ranger? He's got nothing on Georgia Kate, Texas. Oh, dude, okay. but, not a damn, damn thing. I'm telling you, I I want Doug and Eric to just meet the family, dude. They are the best. Fucking they're, people. They sound yeah. like. They're like the most, they're like super humble for number one. They're super, they're humble. so yeah. humble. Bonnie's for, one of for, my closest friends. They, I mean, yeah. they text all the yeah. time. Yeah, Bonnie's a bad type. bitch. I mean, yeah. that in a good way. And, yeah, and Georgia yeah. Kate <laughs> is and, the baddest yeah. of bitches. And, and, Georgie's and, amazing. And, and I mean, it's just like I've learned a lot from Mike. I mean, honestly, just going down there so many years now, four or five years or whatever I've done, I've go down there and turkey hunt and then we deer hunted. I've learned so much about the deer management side. And I mean, I've honestly tried to bring some of that home to Georgia and go like, man, if y'all would listen to some of this stuff that they're doing down there, like you you could take, like in Georgia, Pine Tree Woods, 110, 120 inch deer. We're, me and my guys the, on our leases, we're growing 130, 140 inch deer now. So you're getting there. Because we're, I mean, honestly, we're putting in the feed, we're putting in the time, we're putting in the dedication, we're giving them the age structure that they need. Yeah. Um, not over hunting, uh, low pressure. But I mean, it's never going to be what Texas is. I mean, Texas is just like it can't be. It's pe- just, people don't understand it until you see it. You yeah. don't understand it. Like I mean, I know you guys have heard us talk about it and yeah. maybe seen mm-hmm. you know some of the videos and stuff. But until you see it in person, like it's one of those like I, I can't describe it. Like man. the like, first time we went, it was just kind of like I, I remember <laughs> we were speechless yeah, almost. Like, you I know? remember. Um, yeah, it blew my tits clean off. <laughs> as the kids would say. Obviously, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have he, pretty he big, big tits. tits until we went to Texas. <laughs> you did some knocking, uh, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but but with that you being, said it. But with that being said, uh, to, but to answer your question, like um, I met Mike and Bonnie, you know, through the outdoor industry, doing doing some stuff through through Lethal Products and. Um, we just got to be friends and and um like i told you earlier mike i said hey man y'all got turkeys down there i'm like yeah man you want to come turkey hunting because mike doesn't care about turkeys and i'm like shoot you man i love turkey hunting so we went in there and we turkey hunted together we got to be friends we hung out and then i mean it's almost like an extended we, beth calls it family you know i mean you got oh, yeah. your friends and yeah. family so um but then uh i remember we were at ata show one year um and mike came up to me he's like hey man uh, me and bonnie were talking like, do you and Beth want to come deer hunting down there? And I'm like, <laughs> did, you, did you have to ask me that? Like, is that, like, is that like, a serious like, question? Like, like, I'm serious. Like, right now, I will skip Christmas Day to come down there and go <laughs> deer hunting. Do that. Anything. Um, because, I mean, it's South Texas. It's, you know, their ranch. I mean, it's it's such a... It's an experience is what it is. I, I mean, it's... I really wish, like, and you guys are, y'all love white to hunt. I just wish, yeah. like, I could take everybody one time and just see that yeah. for a couple of days. It's, and when you leave, you're going to be like, man, that's just... Out of, out of all the people so we've had cool. on here, too, you're the first person to say, like, Texas is where I'd go. I, to oh, Texas, that Texas true. hands down she, she all and I day both. long. It's, usually usually it's Iowa, Illinois, no, you know, no. like There's some spots, Midwest guys. No, it's magical, man. It's no, Texas man. all day long. I, I've, hunted, I've hunted most of this country. Like I, I mean, for whitetails. Like I've, if you Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, I mean, whatever you name, like a yeah, quote big buck state. I've mm-hmm. hunted it. If you told me like, hey, bro, we going hunting tomorrow. Where do you want to go? I'm like, shit, we're going to Texas. Yeah, mm-hmm. because there's like I, I I say this like she and I both agree. If we didn't have family in Georgia, I was about like to we say do, that. and and I love Georgia. Don't worry, that's where my heart's yeah. at. That's where I, I mean, I bleed red and black bulldog, South Georgia. Yeah. peanut fields as they get i love pine trees but with that being said if it wasn't for that we would live in texas really he I'm and kidding. i would have moved to, if we, it we weren't for we like would, my mom I'll, and his parents I'll, being in georgia there, there's something about been, yes. being out there the lifestyle the deer the, the the wildlife and i mean we love rodeo cattle like we we're talking about bull riding and all that stuff like i, I that's I, that's always been like something i loved and when we go out there i mean i feel like i'm at home like i'm like mm-hmm. shit these are my people 
Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. hey, Jose, let's make some tacos and go hunt some deer, man. I, I mean, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and literally, like, one of the ranches we mule deer hunt on, the, the head guy's name's Jose. So he's cool as crap, you know? Yeah. yeah. But um, with all that being said, like, and I've got some of my best friends out there, like, in the hunting world especially, and outfitters and all that stuff. Like, it's just because literally in Texas – we could wake up tomorrow and be like, what do y'all want to go hunting today? Like, we can't go deer hunting tomorrow it's in June, Yeah, but we could go shoot an all-dad. We could go shoot axis deer. We could shoot a black buck. Yeah. It's like a uh, Neil guy down there. Oh, yes. dude. It's, that you my learn, mind. Can you hunt like 365 yes. down there? Yes. 100%. Yes. 100%. It's magical. Yeah. That'd be weird. 100%. Dude, I'm like, telling you, I, I love that family so much. And they might have hated me for all I know, but uh, just a little bit. But they can. I heard. I heard about it. I'm just kidding. No, no. no, they can hate me, um, but I love them just from three days with them. And I looked. I was like, if Georgia Kate wants to do a podcast, I'll fucking produce it. Just send me the files and send me a photo book cover art, and I'll do all. That's. I'm telling you, dude. She is. She's the real deal. Put like, her against any female hunter in the country. Dude, I'll put her against no, any male hunter. Yeah, or male I'll hunter. Fe- female my ass. Well, like, yeah. that's a good male. point. And I didn't mean to like discredit her because no, no. she shoots a yeah. bigger, faster bow than me. I know she can outshoot me. I know her deer. And I'm not saying that I'm the one, but just for the record, Georgia Kate's a bad bitch, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, if we could get her to be Georgia Kate on a recording, yeah. it would be it the would go biggest viral. hunting podcast. Oh. It'd be the biggest hunting podcast. I mean, I'll, Georgie, I'll, I'll, if you're listening, boo. Like, like she, like uh, <laughs> we you get you guys in so, podcast with well, them. There you go. We can do right we now. We could do Legends of the Backwoods podcast right Dude, now. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just, like I'll be money. your shameless producer that you can just. <laughs> I'll, I'll be your right Jamie. Now. I would, I would, I would jump in it with two arms and two legs. As long as Georgia Kate's the head host, I will. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm Doug. That's kind of a diss, and I love it. No, it's a good diss because we got the same birthday. I'll grow my mustache out and everything. Yeah, I love it. it. Just for men. (laughs) Hey, you got to get an Elmer Fudd tattoo on your ass, though. I'll get two of them. (laughs) One on each one. One of the gun, one of the bow. Exactly. I like it. I like it. I'm telling you, I had to bring that up because I just wanted to bring up the McFerrins and how badass they are. No, they're some of our best friends. I love them to death. Yes. Actually, my truck, I got an F350. Heck, I bought it from Mike. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot. He's yeah. We drove yeah. that bitch he, he, uh, from Kingsville, yeah. Texas to Valdosta, Georgia, <laughs> 18 hours. <laughs> Holy moly. I bought yes. it. We went out there and went turkey hunting. I went turkey. I started in North Texas, so I hunted North Texas, then Central Texas and South Texas, and I picked my truck up, wrote Mike a check, and drove it to Georgia. So, I mean, like, we're, we're pretty much... Was that a much... planned thing, or you're just like, hey, No, it was. No, it was like, I, flew, I flew down, met yeah. them, and I, hunted, and then we drove home. Yeah, I picked her up. We picked her in San Antonio and drove down, but, I mean, Mike had called me beforehand, before the hunt, and I was like, he's like, man, I got you a truck if you want it, because I was looking for an F-250, because I'm pulling my tractor and all this stuff. Like, yeah. the, the old Chevrolet 1500 just wasn't going to work. Out. I'm yeah. about there. Yeah. So, <laughs> call Mike. I'm just Fuck. telling you, he'll find what you need. Um, you know what? That's not a bad idea. That'll be a rust free really truck idea. too. <laughs> hey, True. Yes. Hey, throw this out there. McFerrin good, Motors. Good McFerrin Motors. Shameless McFerrin plug Motors on that camera over Texas. Here. Yeah. I'll fly down there. I'll just be like, hey, I got to stay for a couple of days. I got to drink a couple of mini dosakis for a few days with oh, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we both Ooh. need new trucks. Maybe we make a deal. <sighs> we all three need new trucks. Has she yeah, made you true. the mini ranch waters yet? Oh, oh, I, uh, Bonnie. No, Georgie, like where you you take a, a sip off the top of the uh, Topo Chico, you put you a shot of tequila Bonnie in there. Bonnie made me one. Ba- Bonnie made me one. Put you a little oh. lime in there. Oh, that's my gig. Hey, I want to so, go back. All right, nice. so just total another sidebar. <laughs> like you got to meet, did you get to meet Waylon and well, the dogs? The dogs. Uh, no, and then, no. And then the wiener dogs. Oh, uh, you missed uh-uh. out. Uh-uh. So Waylon, so, they, they have two Vislas. Talking but, her language now. Yes, dogs are me. Mm-hmm. But... It's a he's a Visla and they've got that two. Good. They've got Waylon and Harper, but Waylon's the one that's usually down there. You would have definitely known if he was. I no, mean, no, I didn't. They didn't have any dogs down there. Precious, like yeah. I just in love. It was one of those hunting experiences. Like I'm gonna beg Mike. Can, we, can me and the boys come shoot hogs with you? I, I, part of yeah. it's just like that's when shoot hogs. I just want to go drink coffee and drink coffee on their porch and yep. hang out with them. Guys. I just want to meet yeah. them. I don't. No, I don't no, yeah. like, no, hunting, time, whatever. I want to go with y'all. Dude, like, I, want, I mean, I want... Like, Mike, Bonnie, Georgie, yes. we're coming down. Let's got, make like, it a podcast affair. Yeah. 
Ooh, we've a got, podcast yeah. affair. Don't tell like, me to get that. Right we Weird. just volunteer ourselves down to their house. We're just going to show up. <laughs> you just show up. I, I got the address to the gate. We just can't get in. But We'll just hop talk. the fence. Can you just hey. knock on the door? There's a security guard. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, no, no. Don't you got to get little, past Pedro at the gate. There's one ranch in Texas you ain't getting on. Yeah, that's, that's the it. ranch. <laughs> yeah, Georgia K to have snake shot in your face yeah. on the yeah. block. She'd be like, Doug. What are you doing? Good to see you. Why are you so creepy? <laughs> wow, you are. She's a like, you got a badass stash, but I'm fixing to gas you. Yeah. <laughs> and then she shoots your mustache off. Okay, we're gonna. They're gonna right, listen to this, and they're gonna enough. be like, "Wow, what a great idea!" Yes. we should have them down to shoot all the animals on our ranch because <laughs> there's so many. We don't know what to do with them all. And you guys are awesome. Well, <laughs> and we'll feed them and buy them beer while they're here because we love them so much. <laughs> Mike, sound, will, Mike will help with the hogs. That sounds great. Yeah, We'll bring <laughs> the beer and hey, the food. I will say this, though. I would like to shoot a javelina with my bow. I didn't do it when I was down I, there. I, I would like to. to do that. I told Mike I want to shoot. He's like, okay, we'll do it. But you, you got to shoot like like he, the... Have you guys seen javelina before? Everybody? Mm-hmm. So I think so you got javelina. The the trophy, quote, javelina, are the... If you find one by itself, it's like a big boar. Oh. And it'll have the oh. bigger teeth be a bigger body size. So if you see a group together, they're probably going to be females. Other oh, young. Ones. Oh, oh, oh. So oh. I mean, I learned that too because I've shot javelina before, but on another ranch in South Texas. Yeah. But Mike kind of taught me that. So, oh, so see, it's by itself. I was like, down there. I wanted to have a javelina real bad, and Mike's like, mm, "Let's wait." Yeah. You know, it's like, but I did shoot. Uh, oh, I shot a awesome. big red yeah. boar with like black spots, and mm-hmm. I'm getting them shoulder mounted. That's right. awesome. And then, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I got the skull back already, but yeah, it's heavily uh, good to eat. I mean, you can. So, yeah. So I, I killed that. I, we killed a bunch of hogs. You want the real answer or the fake answer? Real answer. Yeah, it tastes like shit. Did you eat some? No. But everybody I've ever talked to said, do not eat yeah, Don't eat any. <laughs> See, I it's hear like mixed all reviews. Dad. Like an all dad. Oh, are they like stinky? Dude, all dad's like, it's like a thing in that table. No shit. Yeah. What the hell? Just like, just, like I've even had guys like I've I, like I hunted with in Texas. They're like, we're gonna cook all that just to show everybody that how like, bad you, it is. Like, how bad it is. <laughs> and they're like, no, you don't want to. Like, and it's I hate, tough. I, it's just it's just terrible. It doesn't taste good. Like it's just it's like in Georgia. Like if you kill a two or three hundred pound boar hog, you. I mean, I'm not I'm not one for wasting meat at all. But they're not good. Like they they taste rank. Like even if you put like mix mix them in like sausage and shit. The best way to do it is you take whatever piece of meat you want, you throw put it the on trash. the grill, you throw the meat away and eat the grill. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the best way to put it. They're that you eat bad. The grill. Eat the grill. It's eat the charcoal. Everything. Do not eat the meat. I mean, oh, that bad. It's, like if you like in Georgia, it's like if you guys come down and you shoot like a seventy pound pig. We'll cook that. Like we'll cut the back strap out, or we'll cook. We know whatever y'all. Yeah. Do. Like that's gonna be good. But if you eat a bit, like a big old nasty boar hog, is horrible. See, I feel, I feel like uh, Hunt Chef can make anything taste good. So all right, yeah, mm. Hunt, Hunt Chef. We ate Kaya with him, and it was good. Mm. It, was, it good. was good. All right, I mean, I'm just, good. I don't, I've never. But he's a professional. I, I will, he like owns restaurants. So, right, so right. I will give that. I will. I will. The caveat will be if there's somebody that is culinary trained. Yeah, he's culinary. That, that can do that. I then I would eat anything and try it, and do, and I reserve the right to change my mind then. Yeah. But as far as us rednecks, and I know how to cook a dang piece of red meat pretty good. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, grill a steak, smoke some turkey, quail, whatever, and it's pretty good. <laughs> but I've never cooked any of this other bull that like. So <laughs> when I shot that big hog, yeah. Uh, well, I've told the story, but I'll just recap it really fast because I just love how Mike is. We're rolling around in the, those badass Jeeps that he's got, which <laughs> I right. love them, dude. That's awesome. And I wanted to buy one when I came home, by the way. Oh, they're, <laughs> yeah. did you buy one? No, I wanted to, but oh, I, I couldn't talk myself into it. Well, he's got it figured out the way he buy. I mean, I'm sure he's explained it. Mm-hmm. It's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but he he's like, hey, you want to shoot a pretty big boar? I'm like, of course, yeah. So we <laughs> snuck around and no. long bombed this boar. <laughs> and... Um, I wanted to get it mounted. He's like, if you're going to mount one, this would be the one to mount. I wanted that classic, just like boar's nest type yeah. boar mount. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I like that re- reference, by the way, boar's nest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, when Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah. 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 Boar's nest. <laughs> so uh, we took it in to uh, that taxidermist. Like, Hibblers. I'll give them a shameless yeah. plug. Hibblers. Yeah. They we have paid them like plenty half, of money like over half the... my living room. They're yeah. really yeah. good. Yeah. And yeah. really expensive. Yeah. Ex- I'm not knocking y'all, but y'all are high as giraffe balls. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> Trust yeah. me, I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we found out the hard way. Well, I thought they were like riffing. I thought 
I'm like, I want a Euro from this hog and I'll shoulder mount. And I'm like, what, 550 bucks, 600 bucks for shoulder mount? Like, fuck that's me. A, that's the down payment. That's the fucking Euro. <laughs> I get the Euro, 450 bucks. I'm like, Woo! 450 bucks for a Euro of a hog? Right. You boiled the head. Shit, it ain't $450. Yeah, there's not antlers and shit. <laughs> I got my fashion advisor talking so, now. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, son of a bitch. So I'm like, well, I fuck. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I, I swear when I like filled it out, it wasn't that much because I would have never done it. Yeah. For that much. Yeah. The, our, our first, like, freeze our, the thing and ship it home. Again, I know we're way off topic, but our, our first trip down there, like our our literal first trip, Beth and I went. Um, Mike actually let me shoot a really nice buck and it was like one sixty. So like that's that's, I mean, that's a that's a hammer. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah. I mean, not for down there, but for Michael Lee's world, that's a really one sixty on a Texas body. Exactly, is monstrous. And, and she shot one that was a, a ten point. That was a really nice bug, and uh, mine was like a twelve or whatever. And I'm like, and we're getting these like you know husband and wife deal. We we're getting these mounted. Like, yeah, yeah. That's 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 um you know in a whitetail world, that's a magical trip. Yeah. And uh, so we, we're getting these mounted, and I'm like, yeah, we're taking whatever you do, Mike, whatever you need to do. We take them to Hitler's and da da da. And dude, when I got that phone call to <laughs> pay that bill and the freight, I was like, oh, and yeah. shipping. I'm they like, didn't even lube him up before yeah, they I was told like, him. I, mean, I, was damn. Like, I was like, y'all, <laughs> Ooh, y'all know, I said, I've only got two deer. <laughs> yeah, it was. And I was like, <laughs> it was like 3500 bucks. Oh, dude. Um, it was. The mount, Close just just the shoulder mounts. The ch- the shoulder mounts themselves were eight hundred to nine hundred a piece. That That's was without lot. shipping. Without shipping. Oh. Yeah, and then they get you on the freight. And I uh, oh. get that. That's not really their Whew. fault because they don't they don't make yeah. really any money. Excuse me. Well, they're the right freight. outside of that ranch, but, and then that's but, the oh, they've money got it down. wrapped. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah for but, sure. But I mean, that, the thing with it is, like, they're in Kingsville right there, so they get all of the tax number from all of the ranches around there. I mean, right. they, yeah. like, they've and got their, tax, a monopoly. their work is and they're, great, and it's great. It's yeah. Got, yeah, it's great. And great like, work. honestly, in my office um, that I was telling you about earlier, like, I got a big you know TV like y'all got, and underneath it, I've got. Like after that trip, we were like, man, we're doing like skulls. And then <laughs> after after Euro mounts, we went to like wall plaques. To the you skull know I mean? cap. Like, with, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just and, lobbing and, the antlers and, off and, getting rack hubs. And yeah. Mike, Mike did let me shoot like um like a hundred and fifty inch deer with a drop time one year. I was like, I gotta get that shoulder mounted. I mean, yeah, yeah of course. I yeah. Didn't kill, but drop two time. two or three to drop time in my right. life. And he had, you know, pretty good little drop time, nice buck. Um great buck actually. Um, and I'm super thankful. So I was like respectful, you know, yeah, you gotta, I yeah. get that amount. Of, but other than that, I got like, under my TV under here, I got like all these Hibbler's skull plate, you yeah. know, mounts. And I'm like, I like how those look. Let's do that forever. <laughs> Keep know? doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I got like 145 inch nine point skull plate. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Just, you know, I get that. Mine was like first trip to Texas. I'm like, Man, I've always wanted to kill a hawk. A hawk has been on my... Yeah, as a, I've never seen a wild hog tow it down there. Yeah, right. You're not like us. Is like shit on these things. Man. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I mean, I hope we never I, see them. I wish. I Same. mean, like Same. I would tell you guys, like, come home with me tomorrow oh. and and just go. They're sled, so destructive. Them, just go to work. Don't tell I mean, me. Well, that's what we were talking yeah. at dinner, man. It's like oh. the, going. I want the after you talking about it. I kind of want that Georgia experience because. Mm-hmm. Early September, yes, you're gonna sweat your ass off. Fact, but it would be fun to kind of be like, I did it. Yeah, like yeah, I went out there 100%. for a week. And oh, we got you, boo. We got you. <laughs> See, I'll, I'll do it to have like, Doug, get this gnat. We're getting bothered here. Eric, hold still. Get, open, that. get open, that, Doug. Open season, baby. Uh-huh. Be the first kill live hey, on the podcast. Hey, everybody with a June 11th birthday is a killer. You got a tag? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I thought I saw it. <laughs> she saw in the eye. Did you draw a tag for that net? <laughs> you got him patterned. I got an Iowa's hunting. I got an Illinois hunting uh, license. It's been a long season. You got a habitat stand He's for nocturnal. Nets. But <laughs> hey, did we get off topic? I, I would like that. I would. Oh, he's back right to here. Georgia. He's right here. Need some salt. I would like that you experience to like. Just say that it's the southern whitetail type oh. experience where it might not be ideal, yeah, but it'd be like kind of a uh, a feather in the hat to be like, yeah, I did that, and it was yeah, absolutely awesome absolutely. or not, mm-hmm. and it you know what it'll motivate right there, me, man. Get him, get oh, him, pull. Oh, oh, did you get oh, it? Yeah. 
Hey, secured the bag. First kill on the podcast. Get my trophy picture. Hey, that. <laughs> Doug, Doug, <laughs> Griffin Grin. Griffin Grin. <laughs> Fan him out. Fan him out real good. <laughs> out. Actually wings. hit him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you so smoked him, bro. What What like, is the shoot. hunting like? Say, when's opening day in Georgia bow season? Um, it's usually the weekend after Labor Day. For for a while. okay, Hill. so like. Yeah. 10th ish, early yeah, September. Yeah, somewhere. 10th, I mean, just whatever that Saturday is. Right. Uh, in there. It, Hot AF. Yeah. So, do you hunt that? No. Uh, you don't. No. <laughs> I used to, no. and I realized I was an idiot. So, how long, how many years did you hunt it like ambitiously? It was one of those, is like, that word? like, it's opening day of you both gotta season. Go. You got to go. You like, you in your yeah. bones, you want to go. And then you walk outside and you go, oh, because you sit inside in the air conditioner in 75 degrees. You're like, oh, it feels, it feels good in here. And you walk outside and you go, damn. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. And the only the only way I go is if um get it done. Yeah, is if I don't book us a beach trip yeah, that she, weekend. She, well, uh, she's a Labor Day weekend beach trip. And you Labor Day weekend's my birthday weekend for the Oh, uh, I like my it. My sister too, by the way. What, what day? September 5th. Mine's the 6th. <sighs> Damn. Like dude, Damn, like, y'all our are world cold. journey. Yeah, what's what your birthday? March 14th. You uh, fucked it up. You, <laughs> St. Patrick's yeah. Day? I don't know. Uh, what the hell? I got nothing. I'm just a fucking loser <laughs> over here. Just say it. Just say it. I'm kind of No mustache. No tattoos. I got, got a, a beard. beard. I'm 5'10". Hey. I just look like everyone else in the middle, of, <laughs> middle of the road at best. Yeah. I'm telling you, face tattoo, damn. bro. God damn. Do something yeah. different. Hey, hey, go post Malone. Get you like a grill. I might as well just leave. Go no, back. no, no, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You can change this, too, so it's not permanent. Dye your beard like a crazy color. Red, purple. Mine used to be red. Eric, you know what you have to do? You got to shave, <laughs> I'm this, talking you shave red, this again. Red. Go back to the Colonel Sanders. Oh, Just the chop. chops again? Yeah, pork chops. Colonel Sideburns? Colonel Sideburns. Colonel Sideburns. I'm trying to think about this, man. That's what we need. Mm. What do you think? But, like, we need woman's perspective <laughs> what? here. What do you think? He needs, he needs he's wop, married. Does no he need wop chops? Like Chris Brackett chops? Oh, oh no. We went there, huh? Oh, why booyah. did you bring that up? Booyah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to bring should that I, up. Should I pick up the booyah? It's been brought No, yeah, no, dude. no, no. You, you need a slogan. I need a, oh. You need a. a, a, a <laughs> let, me give you, let me give you a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> give me a second, folks. I, I do. I want to hunt Georgia. I, I want to get back down to that. I want to yeah, yeah. be miserable for five days. So this is what we'll do. Like, do like, uh, y'all, whoever wants to come down, come down early season. I, like if I were you two, I wouldn't want to torture myself that way. But come down later. <laughs> but if you want to come, we're down just early, saying from experience. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, yeah, if you don't go want sweat heat. going down we'll every we'll crack Jordan you got. Just to fill me in sweat with me. We go. Yeah, That's yeah. what we do. We go to Georgia. We hit Kentucky on the way home. Oh, um, and we make our way back, just hitting states. Only See? if I can go to Kentucky with you. We got him. Wow. Hook it up. Hook it up. Could we do a two and two? Could we do, we go to Georgia, we all film each other if we bring a handful of guys. I can get we, a camera guy too, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Well, we film down there. His name Jordan. Roll up to yeah. Kentucky. Actually, yes. it is. <laughs> well, then we roll up to Kentucky, film there. And then everybody goes home. And everybody goes home. We all have a mutual friend in Kentucky too. Oh, Peanut. Oh, man. Oh, I do know Peanut. Oh. Peanut. I like Peanut. <laughs> do we have to do I want. Are we doing a WCB Southern experience for whitetails here? Road trips. Let's do the Southern Whitetail Tour. WCB road oh, trips. Oh shit! Just two states. W- <laughs> it. WCB I, dude, that, road trips. I would be. I, bam, bam, bam. I think that would be like really good for us. Let's do road trips on a budget. Budget road Never trips. Never heard that before. White trash road oh, trips. Oh, it's, it's yeah. like the it's like trips, the early season. The it's like the early season know, road trip. Yeah, we'll call it the. The killing to sweat your yeah. ass off. Yeah, yeah. Sweaty balls tour. Sweaty balls tour. <laughs> <laughs> swamp ass. Sweaty swamp, swamp ass, ass tour. Swamp yeah. ass tour. I swamp promise ass you, you'll have a swamp yes. ass. Yeah. Two states of ninety yeah, degrees and eighty-eight. But the thing is, I'm, I'm I'm probably not going to hunt in Georgia, so I'll be good. <laughs> oh shit! No, you gotta go. I'll go. You gotta you, sit with you, us. Yeah. Look, if you come and go, I'll go. I'll, he's, I will. He, he's just like yeah. you guys can do it if you want, but I ain't gonna be part no, of that I, shit. I can handle it. That's the difference. Like well, yeah, I, you're I, born I, and raised I to it. I can go out there and sweat with the best. I've been to South Carolina in August, bro. You might see me tap down there. I'll be if naked. You will hot, tap down I'll there. be naked. It is horrible. It is the the worst hunts I've ever been in my life has been that. Okay, I feel like and I I've been it. on some shitty hunts. <laughs> I'm a welder, so I'm like out in the weather. With leathers on, <sighs> if I don't have to be out in the hot shit, the bug. If the I'm bugs are bad, that's, what, what's you guys' great. hottest day of the year up here? Temperature. We've had some 109, 110. Yeah, 105. 105. But what's your humidity? High, S- pretty high. Hundred. So what do you? Ninety eight. 
I don't, I don't know exactly. Hi. Shit, I don't. My wedding day Th- is 112. Remember that day? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, a, could, it's day thick outside. Suck, that was a it's dumb thick. day. Okay, we get pretty I, I, humid I mean, up here. Respect, respect. Yeah, yeah. but um, but I'm not. We're but it's not, not hunting, hunting in it. Season, not in it. Yeah. We're not sitting in a tree yeah. out there with gear and. But I, I'll yeah. t- I'll tell you this though, like if you come with me though, we're we will not hunt in the mornings though. Okay. Because why? Why is that? Because most of my deer will be in there. Oh. Before daylight, like they're going to be there when you get there, and you're going to blow them out, and you will not see them. That makes sense. Yeah, so we kind of do that here. That's a little normal bit. with a lot of the country, like early. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we but, until but the first cold front. We after, don't really have afternoons mornings. though, because you can beat them in there. It's going to suck, but you can beat them in there, and be there when they if they show up. Yeah, yeah. Could no, you that imagine makes sense. being a grizzly blind in the afternoon in Georgia? It's all sealed up, just bacon in there. Oh, Bro, I'm telling you right now, some of my best bow spots. In a blind, <laughs> it's hot in these rhinos. I got um, it's hot in these rhinos. <laughs> We've got. I, I can't say the sponsor name because we don't work with them anymore. Just screw them guys. Fair. But, uh, You're cracking egg um, on it. There, there's some blinds there. Um, they're not <laughs> terrible, but they're hot. But see, one thing that my, my old buddy Kevin Knighton has uh, found, he's got a cooler. That you fill it up with ice. And uh, it's got you a fan cut, on it. Cut the fan, and you sit there and you just Ooh, yeah, like a DeWa- really? DeWater Milwaukee fan and attached really, to it. And it's really quiet. That's a heavy uh, cooler to tote up those steps, though. This is on the ground, like the creek uh, plot. We'll if bring, it's 112 right, degrees right. out, I'm hauling the cooler up. Yeah. Hey, right. we'll bring a grizzly cooler. Say, out. Well, I mean, we go hunting fan. in shorts and shorts. I'll sweat it out. Oh man. yeah, we're in there in shorts and a t-shirt. I'll sweat it out. See, I feel like it would be kind of cool for us to like experience it you know oh, yeah. i mean i mean Absolutely. i've hunted it i mean honestly the hottest temperature i've ever hunted in in georgia was 98 degrees mm-hmm. with 100 percent humidity anyway it was bad mm-hmm. um kevin and i were hunting together this has been a long time ago we were in climbers so we're like climbing tree stands? climbing tree stands <laughs> and 98 <laughs> degrees and i got what halfway up and i said hey bro i'm about to pass out like it was that bad like i'd stop sweating Hot. yeah no, oh, and he good. and he had a. I didn't have any. I mean, I'm. She knows this as anybody. I'm a. I'm a minimalist. <laughs> like when I go on a trip, I'm like I got a toothbrush and a pair of underwear. The least like, amount like of. Like I'm like I don't want to have to deal with a bunch of crap. And Kevin's one of those that's got like seven of everything. So he's like, <laughs> it's like Batman and Robin. Like he's lowering down a Gatorade to me. He's like, <laughs> and I'm like, you I think that I was like, man, you might have saved a my Gatorade. Life <laughs> yeah, he's that's like, you, you might have saved my life today. Because it was that bad. But I stopped where I was at. I was halfway up, and I was like, dude, I am not climbing anymore. And from that day on, I said, I got a 90-degree rule, like golf. Like, <laughs> I am not going if it's over, like, 90 or over. I'm not going. Dude. Okay, I respect that. I, re- I couldn't even imagine that. I do respect that. Oh, all right, kind of changing gears a little bit. Go for it. Uh, and we'll talk more about that. Cause no, that's good. I think we could do a really fun one. If we could do that Georgia-Kentucky, like, we can line it up. I think we can do it. We can do half a slam. Half <laughs> okay. Let's Two figure. Booners. Let's figure that out because we I'm could. The first one we could get a lot of good podcasts and film content out <laughs> of two and just like have a ton of fun with <laughs> it. Between <laughs> between him and, between yeah. him and Peanut, we can make I it happen. <laughs> yeah, we could do a, we could do a lot of fun stuff there, and it'd be beneficial because like we have a ton of the same partners. Yeah, you know, like yeah. we could do some like collaborative stuff. Yeah. Get, let's yeah. talk about. We let's can see. get our elites out. Shameless plug. Think I got this new elite. This hunt wouldn't have happened without Larry McCoy. This Larry, Larry. With the Ultra Arrows, my Scott release, and my CB. I don't know if you guys got those, but I just shamelessly plugged uh, all of them. We use Scott. We use Slick Trick, but we shoot Victory Arrows and dialed and dialed, dialed right sights. Yeah. Well, okay, you can be wrong. It's cool. Hey, I'm just elite, kidding. but we can agree know. on elite. elite slick yeah. trick. Look at these elite. I, do, hey, up to the I will say the slick trick torch is one like one of the baddest broadheads I've ever shot. Dude, I'm uh, shooting the new single bevel this year. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for that. Mm-hmm. Zip it through some animals. Zip it do da. I shot um, a doe at Bonnie and Mike's with with that head? With, with the with a torch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In slow mo, millions of views. I've heard that. Millions. Um, that's what Georgia Kate brought that camera out. And I'm like, whoa, what's that thing? What the hell? That, but see, this, well, well Georgia Kate don't share with you. This was our footage. This is my camera guy. <laughs> this is oh, my Jordan. Oh, oh, my Jordan break. Your own camera. Shot that. Cause like we were down there bow hunting and we're trying to shoot this one management deer. I don't know. We're going by to Texas stuff. That's all right. I'm trying to shoot this one giant. I mean, he's a big freaking eight point and he's on like the very south end of their property, like way down. And like this dude, I, I named him Houdini because I've hunted him before. 
Uh, first year I hunted him, he'd already shed his antlers when I got there. Oh, shit. So we didn't get him. The next year we couldn't find him. So then it was this year. And we tried to set on him. We saw him one time. We drove in. He was there. He left. He never came back in. Saw every other buck in that area, but not him. And I'm Houdini. like, freaking Houdini. Yeah. And they didn't kill him. Like, he's still alive right now, as far as we know. No kidding. So What do they do? These, like, just like mesquite. Like, and- like, the farther you get away from their ranch house area and, like, you deeper in that property, get the deer get, like, just way crazier. Like, they disappear. Really? Um, They're right. harder and harder and harder. Um, and Mike's trying to get them on the program, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so they can, they can actually, you know, be selective and shoot them. But, um, so I was hunting that deer. I hunted like two or two days, like sitting on him. And like, we only got like three days to hunt. And usually it doesn't take, but I mean a day or two. Um, and Mike's like, man, what you want to do? I'm like, well, let's go out to the house and regroup. And I'll think about it. And I got back in like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, George Kate, I want to shoot a doe like now with my bow. You got the itch. Yeah, I was like, I just, I, I got my butt. I'm, I want to freaking shoot something. It's time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's time for some bloodshed. And she's like, all right. And there's a spot they were clearing out for, you know, the cropland. She's like, we'll take you down there. And I mean, it's, it's nothing to shoot a doe down there. Yeah. So we go down there. We get in the blind. You know, here they come. Comes this doe. And I'm like, Jordan, you ready? He's like, yeah. He's got $20,000 lens on this camera. And yeah. it's like epic slow-mo stuff. And like, you can just see the the arrow go right in the tin ring and blood just i mean it was like like if you're gonna shoot a deer i don't care if it's a doe buck whatever it's like the most epic footage like i'm like that is why i bow hunt right there like yeah like i think you said in the last maybe the one i listened to the other day 247 or whatever yeah the uh, controversial you, one you wanted, to, you wanted to see the i'm oh, sorry 647 <laughs> you wanted to see the the fletchings go into the animal yeah yeah that's when you when it's you fun. Hit, when you hit the right spot especially in that triangle right there and the fletching disappear and you see blood just shoot back out you know that you made the best bow shot you well one have. it's fun and it's efficient and it's uh oh it's fucking fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait wait what'd you say uh, um it, is it fun? motherfucking fun <laughs> oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. And it is man uh, one more time um, super fucking motherfucking fun. <laughs> there, you go, there, you go, there you go. Times two. People are scared to like say that. Like it's it's fun. And man. I get it's not the most ideal. Hunting is fun. It is it's fun. Like, it is fun. Like I get I get. Get it done. I'm getting off subject. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish my story, then we'll go back to this. Yes. But so I shot this doe, and like it's epic blood blow back out the entrance hole, and she goes and like she dies. Oh, damn. Gassing doe. We're hunting while we're. It's multitasking. Oh. Jesus, Doug. Don't shoot Eric yeah, in the pep, face again. Wait, I thought on. I saw him. Hold on. Yeah. S- safety squint. Yeah, close your eyes. Oh, it's okay. oh, over here now. <laughs> Duck and cover. <laughs> Need safety glasses. All right, continue. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we're ruining clips yeah, right now right, as we're right. doing this. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't do that. Damn it, Doug. Shoot the camera. <laughs> but, but so, so like this, this doe runs and shoot. They're clearing this land. So, they got these trenches where the big equipment's been through. Like we're talking about the, the, the dozers. Shit, yeah. And so, she falls in this ditch and you just see water fly up like she falls in a water puddle oh, and whoa. it's like this is the most epic like i don't give a damn if i shot a doe or yeah. a freaking booner like this is epic is that movie. on your guys's uh instagram yeah oh i gotta pull it up Somewhere. it's like cgi couldn't even do it better no dude case. ai ain't made no yeah. shit up like this you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so this doe, like i think georgia kate posted it on theirs and it got millions of views on their instagram too what but it's just know? a slow-mo doe I, like that's yeah. what i tell everybody because if I um, if I'm scrolling on here, can you? Uh, yeah, um, it's gonna be back. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Unless they made us take it down because of violence and freaking pansies. It's you, gonna be you it's are. Gonna, it's gonna be before all this turkey stuff because you know I killed like a hundred of them, dude. Uh, so many turkeys. Load up, right? Damn, I don't know. Oh, this one looks uh, cool. That's the one best shot. That's the controversial one, dude. <laughs> oh, this is... All right, yeah. we got to talk about yeah, this Yeah, watch one. this. Yeah, watch this shot. All right, you tell me where this bullet hits. Watch w- w- watch the whole clip before you say that. So this is a rifle shot, by the way. Look at this Whoa. Shit. Look at this shit. Holy shit. Ah. Uh, Whoa. He's done. Uh, watch, it, watch it again, just so you'll know. I'd say right, right in here. Shoulder? Yeah. Where did, where did you say? Shul- hold on. Let's watch it again. 
By the way, I would always yeah. say double throat patch. Every deer down there is like double throat patch. <laughs> it's so awesome, isn't it? I love it. Whole dude, I've never seen a deer. Like he he, he, he did was, not hold where, that. Bullet. Where's Kip Campbell at? He's digging taters. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I mean it. There you are. Right, oh damn! The, the next what frame. The next frame is the impact. That's the bullet. That's the, the you hit sun. him here at the base. The, no, go left of that a little bit. Right, go back to the right. Right in there is where the bullet makes impact. Oh, you I, cranked I, him. I cleaned the deer, so I know where the hell it hit. That's the mm-hmm. shock wave on the right and the left that you see. That's the shock wave People from the bullet. People think that's where it hit. People argued with us. I'm talking on every social media platform, like hate because of that shot right there. They're like, that was a horrible shot. You shot in front of the shoulder. No. Okay. Horrible. The deer dies in two seconds. That's my point, too. Like, he goes seven yards and he's digging tight. You see some deer handle a bullet. That deer did not. <laughs> no, no, no. Which that shot was only like 30 yards. God damn, what's flying? Everything. <laughs> so it was super muddy out there, yeah. for one thing. He, he's just kicking mud up. Yeah. But my point with but, that is, you guys have, you know, you, y'all have been around video to hunts enough, and we've done this 20 years. We can watch shit by frame by frame. Is it this one like, right here? Texas Doe Patrol? Yeah, yes, that's it. That's it. That is, that is yeah, <laughs> sensitive here. content. No shit. Watch this. She I said, love what? it. Ah, nosy. Huh? Nosy gets you huh? shot. Georgia K would say, shoot that bitch. Mm-hmm. Exactly what she said. Watch that. Ooh. To the fletching. Love what, that. What, look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Bye, Felicia. Talk about efficient, man. What? Watch. Crank. And night, night. Bloosh. Mud flying. <laughs> Mud <flag. laughs> Oh, I love that. That is so fun. But that's my point, man. I mean, that's why I bow hunt right there. I don't care if a damn if I'm shooting a doe or yeah. whatever. Like that is why I bow. Like I know I made a great shot right Perfect. there. Perfect. She ain't going far. We finna go eat some back strap. I'm gonna put that on our story. And it's just cool. I mean, yeah. like it's it's, it's fun. fun. That's what makes it fun. It's cool and fun. And, and not to mention, it looks like my arrow's like 93 inches long when she's running <laughs> off. Of <her> <laughs> yeah, what your draw? My draw is 31, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I love still pretty that. long. I'm not a small guy. I love that. Is this That's your drop tag buck that you were talking about? Oh, ew. um. No, that's a yard buck that's oh, that not a shooter. Beautiful. Holy moly. I think he called him Mexico or something like that. That's not a shooter. That's not a shooter. He, oh, he, I think Mexico, yeah. we saw, he was there when I was there, yeah. but he didn't that, have a drop. I don't know if it's him or there's there's two that were big out there. Wow. Yeah. Freaking beautiful, that, dude. I mean, the, it, you can't, like, <sighs> it, go back up. I'll show you what Georgia deer look like. Um, Go to the left right there. That one. Yeah, that's a five and a half year old Georgia buck I shot. Well, he's heavy body. Yeah, he's big deer, big body deer. Is this one where you guys are in the blind and you were gonna try and shoot it? Yeah, yes. she's like, you yeah. can, and, and I you're said like, no, you're like, yeah, I'll shoot this thing if you yeah. don't want to. I mean, he's he's a five and a half year old. He doesn't score a lot, but like yeah. he's a, he's an old buck. I yeah. know, Perfect deer I to know shoot. him. I'm like, he yeah. needs to go. He's a feed bill. Perfect deer and, to shoot. And I'm like, if you don't want to shoot him, that's fine. Like, I will. I, mean, I watched that video earlier, and I, just you guys going back and forth. Yeah. That's probably so the best that part. Was a you're... full blown. Like, if I would have shot, I would have had to lean across. Him. But I, I would have been fine. It would have been fine. Though. Like, I wouldn't have bothered me a bit. But she's just like, I, I love her to death. But she's got to be like the perfect shot for her to shoot. I, I respect, respect that though. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, saying yeah. like that. Yeah. She's yeah. not gonna. Like, she recognized that, it and said, "I can't take the shot." If yeah. that deer's not. Like if if one's walking out there, she's not going to shoot. It's got to be yeah. stopped. She's got to make her mark. She's got to make her point. See, and I, I love I just that love too that you're that you're like, well, if you ain't gonna shoot, I'll shoot it. I don't yeah. shoot it you hear me? But then kudos yeah. to Jordan, our camera guy, because he had he, to like he upside had, down he he was, You could see yeah. him, and he had to be, be like a, a contortionist to get around and get <laughs> yeah. on that deer. Yeah. I love them old, big, heavy body, mature deer yeah. that yeah. like that. Bottom skull, same old type buck like that. Not yes. a big mm-hmm. scoring buck, yeah. but just heavy body. Oh, like, absolutely. I like that. I mean, like when you you like looking at that buck, you know that's an old deer because you can look and see like yeah, like Beat I called them earlier exactly. than bar- barnacles at the bottom. You yeah. know what I mean? That um, barnacle buck. That buck. Yeah. When I shot him, I call it the big nuts buck. Um, it's actually my <laughs> first. I wrote an article for the Saddle Hunting Magazine. My first full article I wrote. His nuts were like this, like They're a huge. basketball size. But that deer, for whatever reason, that's the heaviest skull you'll ever hold. Wow. I'll, I'll after the podcast, I'll, it's just weird. He's so. 
dense. D- Doug said he was just excited about the balls. <laughs> yeah, uh, Doug loved the balls. On. I, we have yeah, seen some so big. <laughs> <laughs> Doug loved them. Him and Doug? I still got them. <laughs> hey, we, uh, I just hold them at night in the bed, like uh, cuddle up I with play them a little bit. With them. <laughs> <laughs> Dribble them around. They're in a jar next to the bed. <laughs> we, were, cart. we were watching earlier, we were watching a bunch uh, of your guys' uh, you know, content on YouTube yeah. and stuff like that. and. Mm-hmm. Been scrolling through Instagram. There was a hunt in the snow of this giant non typical that came Monster. out. And oh, that was Kevin. Yep, yep. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. And he smokes this thing, pinwheels yeah. it. And I'm like, where are they? Mm-hmm. And I like, you guys, Major League Bucks. So yeah. I pull up Major League Bucks. What's Major League Bucks? Mm-hmm. And is it a preserve? Yeah. Is it high fence? It is, it is high yeah. fence. So yeah. I wanted to bring that up because. Sure. Jimmy John came on mm-hmm. three weeks that. ago. I saw that. And Jimmy John went, he kind of like killed any argument on high fence with a statement on it. Mm-hmm. He goes, uh, oh, it's like art. It's yep. like livestock. You're that. paying for a piece of mm-hmm. livestock. And I'm like, whoa. That's perfect. That's the perfect way that, to that explain it. that. And, and you know, until I, I saw that clip uh-huh. and I watched that, I, I agree with him. Like he's right because – I mean, I've hunted a, a few half like it's not like we go up there to Wisconsin every year. Our good buddy Jared Washburn, who played Major League Baseball for fourteen years, I think. I mean, he yeah. won a World Series with the Angels. Um, our our partner Antler King, Todd Stittleberg, that used to own Antler King, he called me one day and he's like, "Hey, I got a buddy in Wis- up here in Wisconsin. He he wants to know if you know I can get some people to come do a show." And I was like, "Well, you know, tell me about." It. He's like, "What's well, a high fence? But it's his personal place." Da da da. And I was like. I, Cause I'm not like an anti high fence guy, but yeah. I'm not gonna fly the flag. Right? Yeah, I've, no, that makes I, sense. That makes I've sense. done it enough. Like me and being buddies with Brantley, like when Brantley first got like uh, I'm I'm off topic a little bit, but not quite. When Brantley first started making some real big money in that door, I mean the uh, uh, music music yeah. industry. Sorry, um, he's like, hey man, let's go let's go hunting. And I was like, all right, man, we're we're buddies. Like let's go hunting. And uh, so we went around. And he wanted to go to these high fences because he doesn't have thirty days a year to go hunt. Right. Right. He's, he's got. Window. He's got like three days here, two yeah. days here. If he's lucky, he could take five days and go deer hunting. I'm like, whatever you want to do, buddy. You're you're one of my best friends. I'll do anything for you. Mm-hmm. Like I've told him before. I said, if you want to burn the house down, I'll hold the damn gas can. I don't <laughs> care. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, we're just doing. that guy. So anyway, we go and do it. And to put the high fence thing in perspective. He shot a deer that was like 250 inches. I mean, nothing that we would ever really shoot. Yeah, for sure. And he was tick like like it's just me and him in the woods. We're waiting on the guide to come pick us up. We're sitting there, and he sat down. Like this was years ago. He sat down. He looked at that deer and he goes, "Man, I never dreamed in my life that I would be able to do this. Not kill a big deer, but to be able to afford." Because that, I mean, it's not cheap to go right. do that. Like, if you right. kill 250 in there, you're going to drop at least 10, 15 grand. You yeah. Know? Yeah. He's like, I never thought I'd be able to do that. So, to me, that was like, man, I don't give a damn if it's in a high fence or not. Like, who am I to take away this guy's trophy? That's his trophy because of how hard he's worked mm-hmm. to be able to afford that. Mm-hmm. Now, if you can't afford it, do it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not one of those guys that's like, because I've shot them. I've got deer on my wall. I'll show them to y'all like, that I've shot in a high fence. We, most of them were with Bantley just because we got on a little kick and he wanted to do it when he had downtime. I was like, yeah. God dang, if we're going to do it, let's go. I mean, I don't give a damn. Like, hard let's not go to have go. fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm not flying the flag like, oh, I scouted this deer and all this shit. I'm like, I'm telling you, I shot that deer in a high fence. I, I'm not ashamed. Yeah. I think that's where the, the – the, I think that's where the only problem with – that. well, all right, perception from yeah. public or the internet is just people claim that it's not – high fence or there's like some misconception but i think yeah. like when you're so honest yeah. about it like yeah we're like you guys are obviously not hiding because you're talking yeah, we, about you, where you, you saw are. that you looked it up you saw yeah. like major league bucks is, and i just wanted to high. get your take on it yeah. because i think it's a good thing from a um he may make people realize like oh yeah well if you're like just straight up about it yeah but i think it's a problem when you're like look at this 200 inch deer i shot and yeah and you're like yeah. trying to like not bring up that it was on a high I'm trying to be yeah. shady about yeah, it yeah right? it's like yeah, well they, so, so uh, I, 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 will, I will say this right now there's um, a fence in the background <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Was, you're in front of the wire i will say this there are companies in this industry that will not work with me because i have hunted and and i will hunt that high one high fence a year even that you were honest about it yeah 
they would they they just and, and it's an old school mentality i hope it phases out um it's a category that we've already got filled now but i, I really wanted to work with this company i'm not i mean of course i'm not gonna throw anybody in a bus yeah and it, it hurt my feelings a lot because they would never tell me why like they, they went on and on like oh. well well this and this and this and i saw them adding other people that don't have the reach we got that don't you know haven't been around like i'm not bragging about us man we've been around 20 years we got millions of followers like we've worked our ass off like yeah, we yeah. deserve a shot you know what i'm saying yeah like yeah. we're not like the the youtube guy that just started yesterday it's like man i want some free product like we're we're here like we've been here and, we're, and, and we're you're being straight going anywhere yeah, yeah. You're not claiming it's something yeah it's not y'all been around me enough in today to know that i'm me like this is i'm the yeah. i mean yeah i'm real like like it or not i am who i am and, yeah. and i love everybody like i'm not hating on anybody yeah but um i just want a shot because i grew up like i grew up in a sports background i played baseball forever and i always was a firm believer that if i worked my ass off i could get an equal shot as the next guy that works his ass off mm -hmm. yeah in this industry it doesn't work that way mm -hmm. it's about who you know who can make a phone call for you whatever I, and that's fine I don't, i'm not knocking relationships they're great to have but at the end of the day i just want a fair i want to be treated fair yeah that's all i right, ask right mm -hmm. i own the fact that we hunt a high fence every year mm -hmm. this one show it's one show out of 13 or actually 16 we do 16 originals yeah it's one show and it's with a great guy who what nobody knows is he's built that herd and they're all native deer they're all like like you right go there. There. i could take y'all in there and be like hey man go shoot one with your bow they're crazy as a sprayed cockroach in there. <laughs> like they're, they're spooky they're, as like, hell. They're, I bet, they're, yeah. She's hunted in there one time. She killed a one, but yeah. she actually was wanting to shoot on their bow, and she found like, screw this, I'm getting a rifle. Yeah, it's not like yeah. shooting pets. No, no, no. no. God, yeah, not no. at God, all. Yeah. And, and, and I'm not bringing it up to challenge you. No, I'm not challenging right. no, you. No, I'm no, bringing no. it up for you're you good. to like yeah. explain what it is, yeah, because right. I, I feel like in the nine years we've been doing this, if I might have had a different opinion from ignorance. Sure earlier on I not, did too. not realizing I did too. what it could yeah. have been you know yep. but i think people I, if you see the guys post deer like look at the buck i shot and not get and not that they had to be like oh this was on this whatever preserver yeah. ranch or whatever yeah. but um i think people think a lot of guys will just like claim it's this when, it, when they're trying to not bring up what and, it was and, it, right. and that's it, the pro where it, the problems it, i agree from. i agree with that wholeheartedly and everybody listening to this i agree with you like that is not the right way to approach this yeah and and um, I know people personally that have done that and I'm not knocking them. They're doing their thing. They're there. I get it, man. There's a lot of pressure on you. If you've, you're trying to make a TV show or you're trying to, you know, keep your, your stock value up and you hunt all season and it's December and you hadn't killed a whitetail. Like yeah. I'm talking about like a buck at all. Like it, it, it the pressure is unreal. Oh, I sure. used, I used to give into it. And we just I, get to talk shit about it. What kill or yeah. not? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing changes yeah, for us. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the, the, <laughs> the beautiful point. thing yeah. of what you guys <laughs> you know? do is like, if y'all don't kill a deer all year, they're like, oh, well, we're still going to listen to you. Yeah. Well, the right. thing, you know? the thing yeah, is, I we get to like, explain why? In more depth why we didn't yeah. kill a deer. It's I've hard for you to do, do it. it. I've yeah. got to prove that these products <laughs> so work, true. right? Because yeah. everybody that watches our stuff, I mean, YouTube, TV, or whatever, like, you've got to understand, like, our we don't we don't get paid one dollar to hunt. We get paid to promote. That's what right. we do. Like yeah. we, we have built our audience over 20 years to promote to, mm -hmm. and that's what we have to do. Yeah. And, and I'm thankful for that because we've earned credibility over that time. We, we've got great partners who work with like, I mean, like Larry Mack, I mean, one of my best buddies, man, mm -hmm. like they make stupid good products. Like, I love those guys, and I want to work with them forever. I don't want to be one of the guys like I'm gonna shoot another bow every other year. Yeah, that sucks. I, I hate Jump that. Company to and I'm not me. knocking anybody that has to do that. But at the end of the day, like that's not me. Like I'm, if, if I believe in something, I like I love Crown Royal. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> like here so we if are. They want to sponsor you know? the show. Yeah, feel right? free. Like, I Crown. believe in Crown Royal. Yeah, yeah. if you Crown, if or you're Blanton's, listening, I'm Blanton's probably your if you're listening. One. Yeah, yeah Blanton's and Crown. Like, look at that. That's a great company. Bush Light. That's a great bottle. Bush Light. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, Bush. Bush. Even Bush. though they love gays. <laughs> just kidding. That's a joke. It's just Pride Month. Why Be respectful. Hey, man, you do it one time. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I haven't said the F word. <laughs> one time this episode you're doing not good yet. so far i'm not gonna do it it's coming oh awesome but it's um, pride month <laughs> mm. it's actually <laughs> men's mental health month fucking <laughs> realize that okay everybody take a note hey doug why do they gotta do that in our birth month man oh, like that's wow. messed up oh. so bad what men's month so, yeah man month yeah because we're men men's Real mental man. health month real man 
I'm healthy. I'm a man. <laughs> I think I'm You're healthy. You're healthy? <laughs> I'm Doug. I'm a boy. Straight white male. <laughs> <laughs> Not gay. <laughs> yeah. Doug Stachio. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I didn't bring that up to like, but, I don't want to stir but, it up, but, but I want no, to, I thought it would be like no, a you're, good you're, conversation you're, of yeah. like Absolutely. The, honesty. That, you know? I, I get it. Like, I, I totally get it. Um, I get why people don't want to do it. I get the misconceptions. Sadly, I've been to a few places where I'm like, this isn't right. I'm not going to do it. Like mm. I'm, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. I, like, I've had free hunts places. I go, I'm not smell sure. something burning. Yes. Let me go about, check on that. I was about to say like, that's just desire. I, I smell a little something <laughs> here. Grab some cuss. We got to try it's this. Kind of oil. Yeah. I need some more blackberry. They're definitely, um, but no, I feel like people get a misconception. They feel like somebody literally opens the gate. Let well, yeah, they, they think that, they think they're yeah. all chained up. No, you get to stand, that's, they that's let that, them go. That's and they, the thing. They think that I'm going to go rattle the feed bucket and yes. the deer's going to walk yep. out and shoot them. Shoot yes. that one. I'm not going to say there's not places that are that bad. I've never been to one like that, so I'm not going to say that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, oh. Studio's so not burning down. Um, Praise, shout out good. to Praise Cameron, God. Scotty Sullivan, and young boy Jordan and Jake. They are out putting the floor in the rest of the studio edition. And Jordan's in there burning wood. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that makes like sense the, the post yeah. He's beans physically yeah. burning wood. Yeah. Wait, okay, do we, do do we okay. own a fire extinguisher? I don't know what you just yes, said. Yes, we do. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> yeah. Fire yeah. 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 The welder is asking if yeah. you own a fire extinguisher. Yeah, we got one somewhere. <laughs> oh, I'm on fire all the time. <laughs> we, got a, we got a water hose somewhere. I was about to say, do you have a water hose? I got a pee. We got a kitchen sink. We can make it work. This is a water hose, not a micro machine. Oh, Lord. There we go. I can say that because we got the same birthday. That's hilarious. No, I just, um, I like the, yeah. I like, you guys are open about it and I love like your confidence and like what you guys do. Yeah. You've been, you don't have to prove anything. You're just who you are. You're right. doing what you do. You've been in the game longer than most people. Yeah. And That's so great. I just thought like, that'd be, I knew you wouldn't get offended by me asking. No, no, no. But, like, and I, I'm one of them, like if you came to my house and you walked through all my trophies, you know, my mounts and you like, Hey, does that, was that from a high fence? I'll tell you yes or no. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to own it. That's the biggest thing is like there's Thanks, people buddy. in the industry that don't own it. And that's where it gets weird. They, they do it to be for you. <laughs> like, um, like they got to kill a deer. I mean, it's, yeah. the pressure gets to them and they do stuff. Well, you know what's fun? It's like people don't realize in South Africa, almost everything is high fence, but it's 20,000 acres or whatever it is. And, and that's like the management practice there. You know, it's different than yeah. what the, the management yeah. practice in South Africa is different than the management practice in North and, America. And like, and like um, uh, Argentina with like Red Stag. I yeah. mean, it, it's all kind of, I mean, I hate to say it because I mean, I've never done it. So I'm not going, I mean, I'm not talking bad about it. But from what I've heard, most all of this Red Stag that people care are in high fence. I heard all yeah. on New Zealand basically is, but it's exactly. the management practice. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. uh, just keep you poachers know, out, keep. Well, that's whatever. what a lot of things in South Africa too is. That's what yeah. they say. It's not, to keep the animals in, it's a lot to keep yeah. the everyone because like they got yes. rhinos and yes. stuff in there, man. Like they will murder rhinos left and right. Poaching is a yeah. serious problem. It's a uh, hunters are the saving grace of yeah. the animals in South Africa, and and people don't realize that here. You see what I'm saying? Like not yeah. even the South Africa part, but the um, the fact that us as even whitetail hunters here, how much we put into like I know us in Georgia. We will do way more good with food plots and supplemental feed and habitat control, control burning and stuff like that, that we'll do for the wild, like all wildlife, not just deer. Mm -hmm. We do all that. um, The overlapping benefit from us being yeah. passionate about hunting you like, know, like, 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 like we can hunt over bait, but like if that corn feeder goes off and dude, and it spreads corn for 10 seconds. Do you think deer come eat every grain of that corn? Dude, there's birds, squ- squirrels. Oh, my God. Like, squirrels are ridiculous yeah. on that stuff. Turkeys. I mean. Raccoons. raccoons. Yeah, I mean, it, it's benefiting all the wildlife on some level. Like, oh, yeah. then you got people arguing, well, that's creating problems with turkeys. I mean, whatever. Like, there's somebody going to shoot a hole in everything we do. But at the end yeah. of the day, we spend a shit ton of money trying to provide a better habitat for our wildlife to be- better our hunting and enjoy the outdoors. Like, I, like I commented on, on the... The 647, fun. Fun. That's what it's, it's about. Like, th- it doesn't, I don't give a damn if you, you kill every deer you kill and post it on Instagram. If you do, good for you. I don't care. I mean, hell, I post mine because that's part of my job. But at the end yeah. of the day, it's about having fun. It's also hunters for hunters, too. Yeah, man. I mean, and there's know? enough 
like we get enough hate from the antis. Yeah. But but we get but we get just as much hate from other hunters than we do antis because I see it every day. You way, guys yeah. way more fine comb critiquing from other hunters for sure. Yeah, right. You know because because like, a, a non hunter doesn't know how to hate on us for the other fucking shit that the kind of the hater hunters hate on us for. Yeah, they don't they don't hate on you guys for bow hunting if they gun hunt or vice versa. Right, the anti hunters just hate on us they for just hunting. Yeah, just right, hunting. period. Yeah, yeah we but, also yeah, but now we got you know people coming in and going like i got shit for hunt killing a turkey over a decoy dude i love decoy turkey hunting how else are you supposed to do it the hell? Give me that gun, I, 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 I mean yep i'm up i mean you Take guys have had a, a gobbler run in and beat the hell out of a, a oh, dsd jake like that is fun it's the it's so fun it's like that's why i turkey hunt is because they gobble strut come in put on a show and then eventually i'll shoot them i'll sit there and watch them go like man i actually being that guy, like I, I feel bad sometimes because I want to be able to shoot them, take a picture, ha- eat them, and then turn them loose and do it again. Like I want them to be back out there for tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, to do it all over. Yeah, for sure, I get that. But people don't want people don't people just look at us like, oh man, you shot a turkey over decoy. Well, you know what I think? I think too a little bit. I don't know how to word this uh, in the most. Uh, um, educated sounding way <laughs> uh, we're not educated speaking from way. speaking um, from a guy with neck tattoos um <laughs> it's people don't like all right they think like oh you got a podcast you have a show you're just doing it for attention no we found a way to cultivate what we're passionate about and turn it into something more from obsession right and grind and all that and like and anything else that comes with it is kind of on accident you know like I don't know. We're right. sharing well, our well, fun. my thing is like you you guys don't sit in here and you don't go hunting. No, we're you hunting. See what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Like you're not just in here talk like like that's what gets me about a lot of like the sports of uh, analysts and all this stuff. Like I'm not knocking They're just like, talking like, shit. Oh, I'm, I'm not knocking like ex players. Right. But that's you're not different. playing like you're not playing now. Yeah. You played ten years ago. Right. The games change. Like uh, hunting's changed in ten years. Like yeah. technology's changed. All this stuff's changed. Like everything's bigger, faster, smarter, whatever. But like they sit here and they're like, Well man, when I was playing, you know <laughs> how weird would it be like a yeah. podcaster Caitlin from the, Clark's yeah. a pussy. Yeah. Like you could sit back and go <laughs> from the eighties like here's sit, how I did it. <laughs> you can sit back and go, Well god dang if 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 uh you know if I was Mark Drury you yeah. know, or I was Bill Jordan, or if I was Michael Waddell, I could do this and I can do that. Well, we can all sit back and armchair quarterback. Right. But if you guys get out there, you go hunting, and you report back on what you experience. And see, that's what people don't understand is they sit back and think, well, you're successful. So you, now you've got a red carpet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not saying there's not guys they like that. They forget the work you put in as soon as you're successful. Thank Your you. hard work never mattered. I've been saying that on podcasts now for, I don't know, Hundred episodes, exactly, and that's what fucking bothers me so much about the mm-hmm. people who are hustling right now. Work listening, you get it. I know. There's people that are just pussies that will comment that as soon as you're successful, none of your hard work mattered. Right. They forget about the grind. They don't know or about the hard work that you're still and, doing. And and, and yeah, they, they forget and, about it all. Yeah, and they forget they, about it all. And, and they're the ones that sit around on social media and throw shade on everything we do because. Either. You're the dude we had on the podcast a handful of episodes ago. Yeah. And Tell, like I said, I, I, I like we were talking about it before. He had some good points. Like he had he he was he was doing a good job. Honestly, trying, he's trying a good dude. Point. He's a good I, dude. I don't I'm not knocking him at all. He's got his beliefs and I respect him. Because I, I listened to he it. He stuck to him. I respected it because like I, I listened to it um like objectively and subjectively, both ways. Like I wanted to hear what you guys had to say. I want to hear what he had to say. And and like I'm a good resource on that because I've been in the social media trench since it was a thing. Yeah, started. Like, yeah. started. Like, like, like we've got 1.4 million Facebook followers and God dang. you know almost a hundred thousand on Instagram. We got 170 thousand YouTube. I I've seen all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just show my age is all I'm doing. I'm not knocking anybody's thoughts or beliefs. But the social media area, I get what he's saying. It is a, it, it's not a great thing for hunting at times because we tear each other apart. Mm-hmm. But There's it, some it, toxic traits for but sure. But it's also, it is a great tool because just like him being sitting here, probably in the same chair I was sitting in, talking about it, drew attention to it to go forward with it. Right. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm that saying? That episode yeah. cultivated a lot of shit, a lot of conversation. Yeah. yeah. Um, good on both sides, right? I wouldn't yeah. say really say bad, yeah. But multiple angles. 
a, what I think is healthy conversation. No, then that's the thing about hunting. Like we need to have healthy conversations because if, if you and I don't agree, we can still talk about it and figure it out. Mm-hmm. And, yep. you, and we yeah, may, it's not and, politics and, where we're going to not speak. Yeah. I mean, that's my thing. Like, yeah. We yeah. get into politics. It's just, it's, it politics is like, like you pulling me pulling for Georgia and you pulling for Alabama. Like it, like we're just never going to agree yeah, you're never gonna, yeah. <laughs> like in, yeah, yeah. in the hunting world. Like we have some common ground because we both like to hunt. Now we just need to respect each other. Like you want to hunt over a corn pile. I don't, or I do. And you don't. Like just respect it if it's legal, you know what I mean. Like there's people that's, that get I've evolved paid. to that too. Like that's you a know? good point. Like the bait yeah. thing is like, so many people hate on it, and I I used to be that way, but now I'm just kind of like, it's. I think it's the evolution of like once you've done it and been around people yeah. and you've hunted. I think it's once you start hunting in other places and seeing how they do things. It's like well, and then talking to the people that we've talked to, like you kind of understand. Okay, yeah, you. I'll put this Some way. States you the way it is bait. there or whatever. Yeah. You know? If we're, if we're going to just we'll throw baiting out there right quick. If you come to Georgia and I take you on any of most of my property, especially my lease property, and I don't have feeders, you're not going to see a deer. Really? You you might you might sit somewhere and go, well, there went one. During the rut. There went you, one. During, yeah, exactly. You, I mean, during the rut, you might see a decent buck run a doe by you, but – you I mean, like you're gonna sit there and go, dude, there's no deer here. Yeah. <laughs> but like hot. at our lease property, there's not if you're not if you're off of our property, there might be cropland. But not other, much. But not much. Now my family farm That's I, a different story. Yeah, I can go and sit like you around on our a, house on a, on a field or like around our around house. our house. We've yeah, got a lot of crops. If there's crops, yeah. like you guys got shit ton of crops. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. that's all crops. See, and that's go, night and day. Yeah, if you can go sit on like at my dad, you know, my family farm, whatever, if you go sit on one of our fields, man, you're gonna see some deer in the evening. But if you go to like lease land, like a lot of people in Georgia have to hunt, it dude, it's it's like a jungle. It's thick as dog hair. And the only spots you might have on hundreds of acres is a watch down a road. And oh, if you shit. don't have any kind of like bait, because a lot of these places you can't plant a food plot, you can't till up their road. Yeah. They're not going to let right. you do that. You can't cut down their trees because that's their, that's their livelihood. You just got to look down a road. Like if you don't have, like I run a line of corn down a road um, where them deer walk out and actually stop and eat so you can see what's out there. You're not, you mean, uh, what? oh shit, there went a deer. What was that? Hell, I don't know. I didn't have time to get my binoculars up to even look at it. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's that, gone. Makes mm-hmm. that makes and, sense. And that's what we have to deal with. And people that hunt, I'm not knocking it up here like where you guys are, but you can sit on a field edge and you can glass from 500 on a spot and scope in the evenings and say, okay, there's a bachelor roof of bucks coming yeah. here. I can pattern yeah. them. Yeah. We can't do that. For sure. Well, that, you know, it makes sense when you're talking about it. It's like, uh, that's why growing up when I'm watching Southern deer hunts on monster bucks, it's like they're in a, on a road, yeah. a fence line mowed path along the fence to keep the fence clear for maintenance yep. or uh, a telephone line cut. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right. You know, yep. it's like, and, and, yeah, it makes sense. Well, and, and y'all and have done podcasts with T-Bone and T-Bone's mm-hmm. got one of the best phrases I've ever used is if you ain't baiting, you waiting. Like he's always <laughs> said that. And, and, but I mean, he's right. I mean, we're from the same neck of the woods and we've known each other forever. But like, that's my point is like, there's a circumstance for everything. Like South yeah. Texas that we keep going back to, if you go down one of those roads, yeah, you might see some deer, but you corn that road, you see a hundred deer. Right. right. But if you right. don't yeah. corn that road, how many deer are you going to see? Not many. Not many. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. my point. Yeah. Up here, you guys do have a benefit where you can sit and sit on a bean field and, and okay, I can pattern this. Bug. Our terrain is food, basically. Exactly. Yeah. See, we have to hunt trees and hope we find food. You hunt food and find deer. Yeah, yeah. And that's pattern a good like point. what tree to get in to kill that deer. Yeah. See, that's we, why. Uh, that's yeah. why. Like, I think. Oh man, I don't know. It depends on like who I'm talking to and like when the conversation happens. It depends on what hunts we're interested in. But like the way you talked about the Georgia hunt experience, I'm like it sounds not fun at a surface level. It's I know it'll be. be it, it's fun though. I know we'll, <laughs> we'll have fun because we'll be together and no, whatever. It, it, no, I'll, I'll say this. Early season, the only thing that's not fun early is because of the temperature. Yeah. Late Later in the year, dude, it's a lot of fun. Um, typical hunt yeah. is you're going to go sit and um, say if you get good weather, say it's like 45 degrees in the morning, like that's a good morning, like November morning. Mm-hmm. You're going to go sit in the stand. You're going to see deer. Feeder may go off, food plots right there, whatever. Deer are going to come out. You're going to see does. You're going to see bucks. I mean, it's going to be a good hunt. And then – you know, you see something to shoot, you may not. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Um, 
early season is going to be the feeder's going to go off. There's going to be some does come in there. There might be some bucks come in there, but the bucks are going to come in there a little bit later, especially after they lose their velvet. They're going to be like the last five minutes of daylight, mm-hmm. if you're lucky. If not, it's going to be after, you know. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be like, we're gonna, I'm going to come pick Normal you up. Normal shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to come pick you up. We're going to be back at camp. I'm going to check the camera. Like, yep, he's there at 8 There he is. Yeah. 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 That, that's what's going to happen after they lose they their belt. And then you just, <laughs> what you do is, I, I haven't tried, you're going to pick up your that black happens here crown. Too. And yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, by the way, this is really good. I haven't had it yet. I'm scared. Dude, go oh, ahead. Try it. Dude, I'm telling you, it's good. Doug, did you try it? Yeah. It's good. Whoa. That's it good. smells like a cigar. A when cigar? You smell it. Like a, like a, like a berry flavored cigar. It smells like Jasmine on the stage. <laughs> Jasmine, yeah. come on down. She's like, oh, yeah. Jasmine. She's like, you've had too many drinks. Cinnamon, come on down. Get oh, them dollars the ready. Get up to the main stage. <laughs> so you got it down, Actually, dude. I've got a buddy in Florida. They all sound the same. I've got I've got a buddy in Florida. Like he used to be that guy. A strip club DJ. Uh, was he? Was Tom at? He wasn't no, a strip club. He was, but he was like at a. He was uh, at a bar, at a, like a. Like a I was, so, oh, so the bar had the buck and bowl, didn't it? That's what it was. It was like a, oh. yes. like a honky tonk bar. So we yeah, like hyped that up. The electric bowl. So, Ooh, that'd be a little he was like, harder. He was like, come on down. You know, man, he was that yeah. guy. Like, come on, yeah. ladies. <laughs> shake those asses. That's, that's <laughs> I, think, I, I think he said that. I might have been there. I, mean, I feel like he missed his calling. Yeah. It's just, a, you know, it's just a bucket list thing. It's a weird one, right? Yeah. It's a weird one, but I think I could do it for a night. I think we should. Well, not? I think we should make some phone calls to Vegas and find like a real. Ooh. Just real, fly me like, in for like a day. Do for it. Free. I just want drinks. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm going with you. Let's do it. A hundred percent. We'll podcast. I'll, I'll just have the recorder going on yeah, so we'll everyone can hear. We'll me. do a live video. Let's do it. I'm not We're going. Sounds yeah. terrible. Kirk on is deck is candy. On get deck. those yeah. dollars ready. Get those asses up du- and down. Doug Let's do this. Doug said he's not going unless it's a Chippendale show. Yeah, it's dudes. I'm like, up next is Kevin. <laughs> I'm in it to from, get money. From the office. Yeah. See, oh, I could, shit. I could also do, you know, like when you listen to like rock radio, <laughs> you know, like if the DJ's off and he's just yeah. playing it and then it's like that middle segment of like 30 seconds. Yeah. You're listening to 95.3, the fucking rock. This song right here is Queen. And then it plays the next song. <laughs> it's just like, it's going to be the hardest shit and then Queen plays. Yeah. yeah you're like, <laughs> just like, oh, this isn't that hard. hard rock. Dun, dun, Champions. Dun, 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 hard dun, 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 dudes, dun, hard rock. Dun, this next song. You were straight up a DJ in another Actually, life. Yeah, like, I think so. Never mind. Absolutely. I'm stop. I could do it. <laughs> oh, Queens yeah. oh, yeah. and hard dudes. I don't know. Hard <laughs> dudes. Yeah. Freddie Mercury died of AIDS. Here we are. This next song is called We Will Rock You. You might have heard it. And for all of those y'all out there, go get your test. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I made that up. He might did he, he did die of AIDS. Yes, he did die of AIDS. Freddie yeah. Mercury's a talented dude though. Yeah. No, nah, dude. Dude could dude had some pipes, man. Queen rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know about rules. But Queen is better than AC DC. No. Oh, wait a second. I'll stand on oh, that. Dude, oh, wait. shit. Oh. I'll stand oh, on business that's on that. That's a hard I one, hate bro. ACDC. Dude. Kurt's a you hate ACDC, ACDC hate hater. Number wow, one man. most hated most hated band ever. Dude. Most hated. Oh, that's kind of fighting words. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 oh, dude. I, I, hey. Oh, that's my between you and no, that, That's Metallica. It's been Back a... Back in Black? Yeah, it's Metallica. No, that's, that's ACDC. ACDC, boo. Oh, my bad. I was thinking of... Yeah. Uh, hey, this is brought. This is brought to you by Blackberry Crown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and Blanton's. That's and been my Lakers. hated band forever. <laughs> it's been my hated band forever on the podcast. Wow. Okay. Th- Thunderstruck is okay. It's okay, but they all sound um, like the same song. You know true. what I mean? That's it's true. like yeah. that's my thing with ACDC. I get like the. It's there's, iconic. There's people that send him ACDC shirts and records and. A oh, listener yeah. signed Just me up for the that. ACDC fan club. <laughs> <laughs> That's why if you look above our trash can in the bathroom, be. there's an ACDC vinyl just screwed through the vinyl to the wall hey, of the trash it, can. It could be oh, worse. that's it, funny. It it's could the be. bank board for paper towels. It Someone got wor- him an ACDC cameo from the drummer that's for our 500th episode. Funny. Oh, that's yeah. funny. He's, he's a badass drummer. But dude. you know what I said? Yeah. I said it proves my point that the drummer from ACDC is doing cameo. That's oh, how yeah. bad they suck. I he did cameo for a while. You did? Yeah. They asked me. Yeah, but... But they you're not the drummer me. from ACDC. No, I'm but sure I'd that. be badass if I was. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, look, at least it's not Taylor Swift. That's true. I'll give you that. I would mm. I would run headfirst through that wall. I, I'll i give you that. I'll yeah. give you that. I'll give you that. That's saying. fair. 
That's fair. That's but your it's opinion. Just, but it's more just my thing. You like, like your Taylor Swift? You're a Swiftie over there? Come on she's not there, bad. Doug. You're not a fan? Come on, Doug. She's, she's not, not bad. She ain't good either. I saw her in concert. You think I, she's hot? I, I'll tell y'all a Taylor Swift uh, story. Off, I can't do it on the podcast. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you a Taylor Swift story? Yeah. yeah. Wait, you seen her in concert? No. Back in the day. On purpose? Country. Were you with a girl? No. I was with my family. Okay. I thought you were saying with a guy. Oh, I was going to say if you were with a guy, like, bro, we have to read if I was with. Like, I'm changing went. my birthday right now. I was now. with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Eric went. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did? Uh, no, no, no. That was on their first date. <laughs> you know, my first concert ever was Boston. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's Boston good. Rules. No, 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 Mine was in Alabama. Mm. Mm. I don't know what yeah. mine was. That's very right. first concert was probably. Second one was Ted Nugent and Toby Keith. Can I tell you of my best concert and we've ever been to? Like, we went to this one, Boys to Men. Really? Boys to Men in Vegas. Unbelievable. When? A long time ago? No, I don't know. It was like, probably like three or four years two ago. Two or three years ago. Wow. They probably we're still going. Was, we were at Shot was, Show one it was, year. It was before COVID. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah we were at Shot COVID. Show one year. But like, they played for I'm three you, like, hours. Dude, I'm telling you right now, that really? was, them dudes are so freaking talented. Best wow. show I've ever been to yes. was, uh, you ever heard of the bluegrass band The Devil Makes Three? Mm-mm. They sing that song, uh, Old Number Seven, about Jack Daniels. Okay. They sound exactly like they're recording in person. It blew my mind. Okay. Wor- worst concert I've ever been to. Worst? Worst is... Uh... John Mellencamp. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that was bad. I've never been to that one. That that was bad. Do y'all remember Dick. a band called Ugly Kid Joe? Uh-uh. They got a song that called, it's called I Hate Everything About You. It's just a badass song, but then oh then, yeah yeah I know then, yeah. I hate everything, everything. about you uh, yeah like, oh it, yeah nineties yeah, yeah. yeah I saw yeah. I like, so, the song I probably it, know by so I'm like my age is kicking in again so I was like spring break Club La Vila at Panama City Beach Florida which is like the redneckest place ever so it's awesome yeah <laughs> um they were all hammered and tra- like they were terrible like they couldn't even like they couldn't even sing the song oh they're that way they were they were just shit face i think my first yeah. concert was either sticks or eagles those are both those are good ass. good yeah. picks. either one yeah, yeah it's good what, what was yours beethoven no oh, oh, beethoven. Damn. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> Savage. i think was it was, was joke. elvis <laughs> no maybe like hey elvis stone died. Died. i know i know yeah, go on. circle back <laughs> like stone temple pilots that's oh, a good one that's that's stone temple pilots stone in atlanta pilots. That's yeah. a real good yeah. one. She saw Dave Matthews like I've seen 20 Dave times. Ma- yeah, a bunch. Yeah, Dave Matthews was randomly on the TV when he got back in from yeah, dinner. Did you play that? And somehow I knew it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah did I didn't know who that? that guy was. Yeah. Dave Matthews like shit frat, gay frat dudes play to fuck other frat dudes. <laughs> He, I didn't know that. <laughs> she just moved right I didn't play it. I didn't go She's there. She's like, well, but, I'm not a know. dude, and I'm not a frat dude. Yeah. So or it's for chicks. None Whatever. Of the above. <laughs> Whatever works for them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was hard. He's still making money, She don't though. care. <laughs> I don't care. We don't care. Look at them pigs. I love how you guys put, like, the uh, the weather and the gear list on, on your guys' videos. Yeah, we that's a slot that we, we kind of sell. I thought that was cool. That's, that's a big that, hog, that, isn't it? That's my buddy Trey. That's pretty big sour. No, that's a boar right there he shot. Yeah, he gassed his ass, too. See, that looks so. Is that Georgia? Yeah. Yeah. We God, could, hogs we, are cool. We could, we could hook up on some of those farms, probably. Like our really? farms that we have, like we don't have a ton because, like, by design, of course. Yeah. But, um, like, if we, it's like, I could have been like last week, I'd be like, hey, guys, come down last week and we, I could, somebody could have killed a giant boar. But, like, really? he hadn't showed up in a few days. Like, are they so, just a pain in the ass, as everyone says? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're horrible. Like, it, they will go and root up a field. Like, they they always go root right in our roads. And so you're driving around, like, just getting the shit beat out of you. And you drive on a tractor. It's like you're falling in potholes. It's unbelievable. And they just run their, like, they, teeth into like the... Like, run their snout, like, in yeah, the ground, like, digging for, for stuff. For bugs. Yeah. And, yeah, they, and they, it's they, just... Yeah. Especially, like, in the early spring when they plant corn, they'll go right down the row of corn and just eat every corn seed oh no they way. smoke the farmers and then they wow. get in the road like there's usually on the edge of the fields down there we get um like nut grass and they dig into that and they make giant like craters no so, kidding yeah and then on our lease uh we've got a bunch of pines there's a fungus that gets under the ground on a pine tree root that i mean it may be a section that's four inches long they'll dig a whole you know three feet around to get that eat that one piece of root and kill the Jeez. tree 
it really won't kill the tree, but it, I mean, it's not good for it. But yeah. I mean, they'll they'll be potholes all through our woods. God like, damn. Yeah, and we've terrible. had them turn feeders over and stuff like that. No, like, we've had big boards like, like literally tip over and dump stuff. over the feeders and, and just roll get into them all. around. Yeah, break just the spinners to... off the bottoms. Yeah, see, that's a big hog right there. Holy smokes, right? Or am I just like don't uh, know what I'm looking at? Let's see, that's Trey. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, he's probably a two hundred pound boar. <laughs> he dish ragged his ass. My boar on <laughs> mounting his was balls were almost too. big as Doug's. <laughs> Yeah. Almost. 17, Almost. 217 is <laughs> my not hog. Best, 217. That's, oh, that's, a, that's yeah. a good one. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, bi- the biggest yeah. one we've we've shot is like close to 400. 400? Holy shit. Yeah. God. You pa- would... Pounds? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 400 pounds? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What does that look like? Godzilla. This table? Yeah, I mean, it's, he's <laughs> it's long as this table. Big. Like he, he was And you so... won't eat that thing, will you? No. Shit, no. Shit, no. Kill, yeah. ki- kill coyotes off I would off say it. you wouldn't yeah. eat him over You just, you just drag pounds. his ass to the train station and leave him. Yeah. Train station. Yeah, it's over. That's what we call our gut pile. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, station. on Yellowstone? Yeah. Yellowstone, yeah. the train yeah. station, yeah. We, we actually invented that before then. We won't. We can't claim it. Nah, Nobody you know. heard us. Whatever. Let them have it. Yeah, yeah. they will let them do that. That's so, them. Our, uh, our buddy Trey. Oh, fuck. I said his name. I was going to try and avoid saying his name, but I just ripped it off. Right That's away. my buddy, Trey. We t- he's on TV or on the video right now. Well, all right. I'll go with that. We'll go with. So he, the movie Yellowstone, some guys from the show Yellowstone, um, he took some of those guys out snowmobiling. And oh, he, really? Yeah. A couple of years, like when it first kicked off. Um, and he was like, man, they're all, I was kind of disappointed. They're all kind of like soft Dudes, I'm like, yeah, they just play cowboys on yeah. TV. They're, they're actors, actors yeah, bro. They're, yeah. they're from they're, LA. They're not like <laughs> us going out there being a like me and Doug could go rule that show. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So I talked to you, yeah, kid. Hell yeah. Right. Same birthday, fucking gayer in hell. You guys got the hell yeah. We'll go out there. Like, he could take a bath in a cattle trough and everybody show his ass. It's cool. And yeah. girls love it. Damn right. Uh, Ladies love it. Yeah. It's a broke back mountain Mind version of Yellowstone. Yeah. 1 800 Mix a lot, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now we're FUD. What's up? I talked to Trey yesterday and he's, I can hear like commotion motion going on in the background and i'm like what are you doing he's like oh, there are some guys right here filming a movie i'm like he just says it broke back mountain part two I'm, uh, <laughs> it, it was a sequel and i go filming uh. a, i go filming a movie oh yeah it's uh like war horse 2 they're filming a sequel out there at i don't even know what that is trey's I've ranch never heard of her i looked up the uh the first one and it has a 20% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. That oh. Wow. I'm probably not going to watch that one. No, no. Point no. Point He's like, no yeah, this no. one guy's falling off the horse. We're having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing like a horse scene. He sent me a video of like them three guys on horses like wrapped in like so, old school blankets. Like, like, like so do y'all do y'all do like me? Wait, like, especially being in the video side of things. Like I call bullshit really quick on stuff. Yeah. Like I'm terrible to watch. I can't watch movies. I'm, like even hunting shows, you don't want to watch them with me because I'm like, yeah, it's fake. You yeah. Know what I mean? right. That's yeah, for sure. But yeah, I mean, I know. But like even watching movies, like watching Yellowstone, like they're out there working on a fence or something. Like shit, they're doing that. Damn. Like that's <laughs> not even close. That ain't right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I grew up on a farm. Like we raise have cows and crops and all that shit. I mean, yeah. So I mean, I'm sitting there watching stuff. I'm like. Man, at least like there's some couple legit cowboys on Yellowstone. Like yeah. they they know what they're doing. But like yeah. y'all can't stay. Hey, time out, guys. No, you're not even hooking that damn. Well, imagine they're pretending right. to be hunters. We'd pick that apart. Oh, dude, it'd you be know? a disaster. Oh, my God. Well, mm. yeah. Oh, we would pick that apart. Well, I'm. I don't watch. I'm the worst dude talking. Like you can ask Doug and Eric. I'm frustrating. Movie references. I don't watch movies. Go right over his head. I'm, and I, it makes me sad. I want to watch movies. But it's like a disability I have. I can't. I watch it, but I can't. <laughs> like all the movies that I watch have been like they're all older now. That's like, the same. With, I don't watch any new movies. Like all the new movies are remake of the old movies that we Basically. actually watched. You know what I mean? That were good. Like I'm not knocking the the latest Top Gun movie. I mean, it's pretty good movie, but it's exactly. not the original. Have you watched the new Roadhouse with Conor McGregor? Uh, uh-huh. Now I, I'm going to say I did thought he, that was hilarious because Conor McGregor was funny as shit. He's like over movie. the top, yeah. yeah. He's, but he's like here yeah. I come. <laughs> like it's just like okay. <laughs> I did not like, see yeah. that. Is it purposely yeah. ridiculous? I think I so. I think so. I think yeah. I think Have they were like it? yeah. I think he's over the top. Yeah. I feel like he exaggerates yeah. his. Yeah. I his think his I think I think he. Where's everybody at? I'm here. You know what I mean? It's like Connor's being Connor. Exactly what it is. So, because because I mean I, I've been I've always been a big UFC fan. I mean I know yeah. some fighters and stuff like that. I'm a Connor fan, but I mean I am too because like whether he's a character or not, 
when he was fighting, he got into character. Yeah. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like it's the best shit talking ever, That's dude. what I'm saying. Like, like love him or hate him. Like, him and Nate Diaz. Like, I, I hated Nate Diaz, but then I, like, I love later, Nate I love Diaz. Nate Diaz now. Yeah. Like, I'm like, no, because he's real. Like, he's like, you're going to hit me in the face, I'm going to hit you back. Like, I'm, you're not going to mm-hmm. knock me out. We're going to go the whole fight. Yeah. Like, that's that. Nate but, Diaz is the... I, the Diaz brothers are like my some of my favorite, right? Because they're they are tough as shit. You can hit them in the face, and they're not going to go down. Yeah. They're going to fight the whole fight. And Connor's the same way. Like I mean, of course, he got older. He's and the man's mean, man. Age, age catches you in fighting. You know what oh, yeah. sucks is you know? thirty five is super old in fighting. <laughs> so you know Chad, our our age. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was at one time. You're retired. Right. Yeah, I retired. But Randy Couture is the exception. Right. But uh, y'all know Chad Mendez, right? Yeah. Chad, He's been on the Chad, podcast. Chad's a buddy of mine. Like Chad's, Chad's one of the nicest guys I've ever met that beat the shit out of people, right? Badass dude. But I wouldn't fight him now or 10 years from now. Ever. He's so freaking fast and strong. But with that being said, Chad like had a phenomenal career in the UFC. Mm. Like he, he almost put Connor beat Connor. To the test. He put like Connor he, to the test. And and Chad took that fight on like short notice. Mm-hmm. And and Chad told me he's like, dude, if I'd had a full camp, he said I would have beat him. He would have beat him. He would have beat him. Well, he I had lo- him beat. I love what I love about Chad after that fight is he was like in some post interviews, he's like, he hits hard as fuck. Yeah. Like he wasn't like making excuses. Yeah. Like he like, was just being honest. He's about a freaking it. good fighter. Yeah, you know what I mean. And Chad's a great fight. I mean, they're both great guys. And like that—that that was Chad's bare knuckle fights. He just had are stupid, badass, oh, stupid man. man. And he and he bulked up so much for that, dude. Like, he looks like an animal. God, dude. And he's like literally like legitimately one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Like, I mean, we've never met him cool. in person. That's when we did call on podcasts a lot, and he got that one as cookbook. Yeah. I mean, we and, we've hung out a few times. Like he is super guy, and like one of them guys. Like I mean. Like I go to bat for him. Like he is legitimately a great guy. He seems like it. Yeah, from super what we nice know. guy. Yeah. Loves his family. He loves to hunt. I mean, he's 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 got his business built up, but um, but just going to show like, you know, as great of a fighter as he was, and I think he's one of the most underrated guys because he like handed it to a bunch of people, mm-hmm. and he almost beat Connor, who's arguably one of the best at his weight class ever for sure. Almost beat him, and just got caught. You know, yeah, I mean, he yeah. would have won that fight on the card, just got caught. Yeah. But that shows you how good a fighter Connor yeah. is. But to Connor's props, dude, he milked that thing and he made his character and freaking now he's making, I mean, he's, G- he's got to be a billionaire. You think he's be, a billionaire? I don't, I don't know if he's there yet, but Proper he's Proper 12. Pretty damn close, I think. Proper 12 is massive. He's Proper doing good, he's doing good whiskey, well. too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have, you ever, have you ever had Proper 12? I've had some. Yeah. It's not bad. It, it ain't bad. It ain't crown. It ain't, it ain't it's buttons. not Crown it Royal crown. Blackberry. I, crown royal I gotta say, I don't love it. You don't love it? It's I, think not, we need I, some, I think we need some ice on it. I heard the only thing that mixes well with that is like Sprite 7-Up. Mm. Some, mm. See, if, if you want to yeah. mix it. And we're sipping it straight. It's okay. Yeah, so, we're, we're drinking it neat. It smells like a cigar yeah. to me. Yeah, you throw some ice on that. It smells like I'm okay. drinking a liquid I, I like, think you're cigar. right. I think you throw the, the big square cube in there or whatever. and A big old loophole ice cube. Big old loophole. Or whatever brand you work with. We were you mean, you mean Hog Optic? Mainly Yeah, loophole. no, we no. meant loophole. <laughs> you mean no, it tastes worse. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a backwards life cube. That's what you yeah. mean. Yeah. 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 I heard we got to call no. a guy to get some of those here at the yeah. studio. I know a guy. Well, we got, you know what we fucked up on? We didn't bring you any merch, and we need some backwards life stickers for our beer fridge here at the Deal. studio. Deal. We'll, we can we'll, make that. We we'll can do make a by mail trade. We'll do a we'll do a, a long distance exchange there. there you go. <laughs> or we'll do the the southern sweaty bow hunting tour. Oh, no, we'll do that we'll anyway. Just, we'll we'll, we'll do it all. We'll, I'll hook you up with more. Hey, you know what we do? We go to Texas. Well, I'll be too early for Texas. We go to Georgia, then Kentucky, then Texas. Oh, invite ourselves to the McFarrens like we talked about earlier. Probably, we're not going to get to Texas until late season. January, like, yeah, January. It's, it's gonna, it'll, it'll be was, after the first of the year. after ATA. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be like after their. Through killing all the big deer, we're gonna get deer. Oh, yeah. okay. Give call, me the call, spikes. Call. I don't care. I don't care. I'm with you, bro. I don't care. I'm like, I, I just shoot those. I just want to go. I'm with you 100. I told Mike, I was like, how many doe? Because he gets like 30 or 40 doe tags. I was like, dude, I'll come down here for a weekend. I would just flog does the whole time, dude. I don't care. I was. We were driving. And we were in the jeep. And I'm like, man. I was like, you want to shoot? He goes, you want to shoot a doe? I'm like, yeah, I'll shoot a doe. How, how many do you need to shoot? He's like, well, got about a month left. And I have to hit my quota, and I, I got to kill 60. Wow. Like, 60? <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, oh, my God. And so I, I was like, I'll kill I'll kill a doe. I'm thinking a doe. 
No, bro. You can like five. Every yeah. Set. I thought yeah. you got to pull your weight. Well, I didn't know. You know, yeah, I'm a she, guess. Said, uh, she's never shot a doe in her no, life. No, no, no. So. I'm a buck. It's a I'm female. A My mom's yeah. the same way, actually. Yeah. That's no, funny. I'm a buck. So I'm like, well, your mom's a badass, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll shoot a doe. We get in the in the blind. It's me, uh, Joe Humphreys, George Kate. <laughs> and uh we're sitting there and uh talking shit the whole time oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm like all right how many how many we're we gonna shoot she goes oh i was like you just want to shoot one we'll head out i figured we were gonna go shoot hogs it's like oh now we're gonna try and shoot about five she said that yeah i'm like oh five buddy. yeah sir tonight yeah like, like now like right tonight now? we're gonna shoot five <laughs> you're gonna shoot that in probably 10 minutes and joe goes i'll give you two minutes before you kill your first doe and i'm like no it, it, way it, it, like, what's it, it going on minute. you guys fuck with me and joe's bringing a mini dosakis and he goes <laughs> he goes kurt they're literally coming right now <laughs> and i look up and there's a doe coming i'm like oh fuck i might set yeah. my all-time record here <laughs> and two minutes later i got a yep. doe on the ground yep and then uh that's what that's that first one georgia can't shoot that, that bitch that one we watched on that slow-mo a while ago i've been there a minute really yeah it's Jeez. crazy it's unreal like they come, they come in yeah. so fast yeah. dude they come in so fast. like when you go and get set well, up and they corn it comes in. and uh, i mean it is what it is like it's it's a controlled environment for a reason and it's straight up management at its fine it's beautiful yeah i mean and it's like it's beautiful it is beautiful man i there don't ain't nothing wrong i don't with i don't know how to describe it um other than it's like the white tail holy grail yeah oh but just, like if more people would Here's Would here's my manage like that. Here's my five. Oh, oh that's oh. one. Oh, that might just be one. That's right in the triangle too. My fletching flew off because I'd already shot another doe with that same arrow. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> Bad Who glued blue. that fletching on? Look at that comment. Yeah, everyone's hating on the fletching. I'm like, the deer died. All right, yeah, right. <laughs> leave the fletching alone. Like, I will trade an arrow for a deer all yeah. day long. Right. Oh, uh, I thought I had a. Uh, that's there's a montage somewhere, ain't there? Oh, five hundred. That's a good one there. Yeah. 92,000. I, I, I hit this. I think I hunted that same spot. Guaranteed you did. Oh. oh. Ooh, we got that shoulder blade a little bit, but I bet she died. Rolled her. Looks the gut, or the, the blood just gushed out. You got the spine and the lungs. I got everything. Everyone's like, bad shot. I'm like, yes. well, it went it, zero it, fucking yards. That, that's, what, that's another thing that kills me on social media. Like, that's a bad shot. Like, how far did deer go? Seven inches? It didn't yeah, go it any yards. Zero. That's what I'm saying. Like, how can Four you say millimeters. that's a bad yeah, shot? How's that a bad shot? Like, you can kiss my white ass. It, I don't care. It, you can't. <laughs> well, yeah. You read the comments. There's 110 comments on that. And you read them and you just go, I, how many deer have you shot? Right. That's my point is like, dude, I mean, like we were talking about that a while ago at eating dinner. I've killed hundreds of whitetail bugs. Mm -hmm. And you're going to talk shit about my shots. Yeah. I shot five Crazy. does in two hours and I watched every one of them fall over. That's what every I'm saying. Every single bro. one of them. That's what I'm saying. I will say this with a bow, <laughs> probably in the last, I don't know, five or six years or more, I've watched 90% of them fall. Yeah. Yeah. Not not that I'm not a great shot. Like technology's advanced at that enough. If you put that arrow in the right spot, especially with them big old slick trick torch broadheads. There you go. Spot, nice, nice. Like there it is. they're gonna go down. Yeah. Like it's, people are gonna tell well, you you're wrong still. And two it's exactly. like, I, I don't know what I, who, you shoot a mechanical or you're a you're a horrible hunter. I mean whatever. Bad shot. Well it's it it's, died right there. What <laughs> like you a terrible terrible shot. Yeah. She shoots this buck we just talked about a while ago. I don't get how there's an rifle. argument on that deer. I can't believe that was a controversial topic. Dude, I'm talking it got hundreds of uh, it's got almost it got a so much hate. It's got, it got almost, I can't believe it's it. Got almost, it's got almost a million mm -hmm. views on YouTube. And they're hating on like, well, I mean, great buck, and it went down, but the shot was forward. I'm like, you idiots! You just said great buck, like, it went like, down. Like, shot, it went down before the, you said but, the shot was. But forward. it was a horrible shot. I'm like, dropped him. Terrible shot. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what? He went. I would shoot he all of them in the eyeball from now on, right? It didn't oh, yeah. go twenty, but Dude, terrible shot. I've never seen a deer handle a bullet less. <laughs> right. Just, right. And that, and that's with the, that's with Mike's rifle, a six five Creedmoor, which is, I mean, that's that's a good round. I mean, no, 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 I'm, that was Georgie's rifle. Get it right. Oh yeah, was that Georgie's? Yes. Probably every rifle oh, that, that Mike is, owns yes. is oh, Georgie's. That, rifle. that just that just disproved every comment of reply to on YouTube because it's not a six five. If it was Georgie's rifle, it was something else. Dude, I shot a it was coos a deer with a three hundred wind mag, and it handled that three hundred wind mag better than that buck handled whatever Dude, that was. I, sh I shot a mule deer in North Texas this past fall with a seven mag, custom one hundred and eighty grain burger bullet, 
three times before I dropped him. What's the deal? They're tough as nuts. Some deer just got it, though. I shot him the first time. Like, he's walking when I shoot because, like, I mean, in in, in Texas, you can hunt mule deer over feed. Uh-huh. So there's a there's a feed pen to keep the cattle away oh, from keep the, out the, of the, yeah. the, the feeder. So this deer, like, I've watched all these different bucks and does walk out from my right. And the, every one of them walk around the feed pen, and they jump over in this certain spot. So I know this deer is going to go and jump over. When he jumps over, I, I'm not going to shoot through those panels. They're like the hog hog panels, you know. Yep. Yeah. I'm not going to try to shoot a rifle through that. I mean, at 200 yards. E- e- either way, I'm just not going to risk it. So I know he's going to do that, and he's not stopping. So he's at like 200 and something yards, and he's kind of quartering away a little bit. I'm like, shit, it's time. And I just thump him right, like back ribs. The bullet goes up in opposite shoulder, and he just like <clears throat> he just humps up, takes it like you know, like a boss. And then he just stands there for a second. He kind of staggers. That shot, he was done. Like he was going to go down. But I was like, shit, he's still up. Yeah. You know, my camera guy's like, put another one in him. Boom, thump him again. After the second shot, he decides to run. What? Two seven mags, 180 grain bullets. I mean, in a mule deer. In a mule deer. And this is a freaking probably 300 pound. He's a big, he's my biggest one ever. 185 inch, just like a tank of a deer. Hammer. Like, like like I'm sitting there going, like I was nervous because I glassed him the afternoon before that. Like we went out and watched him from like 800 yards. And I'm, and the guy. So you knew what he was. Like the guy, like that, that's the worst thing for me. (laughs) I don't want to (laughs) know. Like if you tell me, like, hey, there's going to be a buck, come in and shoot him. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah. just cool. Yeah, but, nice but if you say, in. that's the guy you're after, when he shows up, that's the biggest deer we've ever had on this ranch. <laughs> Don't ever tell me all that shit. On this outfitting business, you've got to get him. Don't and fuck I, it I, up. That's pressure, bro. That's like, pressure. Like, I don't like that. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't, I can handle the pressure. Yeah. But I don't want it. It's yeah. unnecessary. I, I didn't, I didn't need to hear yeah. it. Yeah. Like it's one of them. Like if like oh, there's gonna be a big mule deer come out to shoot him. Like you'll know him when he comes out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But he I'm might, the, he I'm might already, be there. Might not. I'll tell yeah. you the stuff yeah. after. But but like but then my guy's like man, he's been there every day, and then we glass him the afternoon before, and like he, I mean like he's a stud. Like he's got flyers and kickers and splits, and I'm like shit, man. Like I'm I'm amped. I can't even <laughs> sleep. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the night before. But anyway, we go in there, and sure enough, when he walks out, like, no doubt it's him. And I'm like, as soon as I get a, I, even an angle of a shot, I'm fishing to gas him. So, and I mean, I'm shooting a 7 mag, my quarter rifle, 180 grain burger bullet with a suppressor. So it's like the, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's like the one of the best rifle setups in the world. Yeah. And like, that's what it sounds like with a suppressor. <laughs> Dude, suppressors yeah. should be legal yeah, everywhere. Really, so that's awesome. really good. It's so awesome. <laughs> and you hear that hit, and then... You hear, put another one in him. You hear me. You have the, is this on YouTube? Um, it probably is. If it's not, if it's on, if it's not on YouTube, it's on a short. Um, uh, either either way, it's on our. <laughs> I think it's on our YouTube. Yeah. But, what could I type in to watch? This? Um, backwoods life. Mule deer. Texas mule deer, maybe. But then the third, like that's your second shot. Then he starts running, like back to my right. And I'm just, he's like, put another one in and go. And oh, I hit him. Was, wait, go. Is that's that it. it? That's it right there. Yep, yeah, that's him. That's, that right that's the hunt. And then the third shot, like I dish ragged him. Like he just. Oh. But I hit him way back. Keep it right here. Do you he want me just, to skip or. No, no, go ahead. That's it right there. That's I'm it. fixing to shoot right there. Well, actually, that might be a tease before we go into the hunt. You can hear Ooh, the I can hear like, it. That? Like, that's, just, like it. that's what it's supposed to be. You can fast forward through that open and stuff. Um, that's a bunch of bull crap around the camp. Actually, that's a that's that's one of my favorite places. I've got three mule deer out there. Like it's so awesome out there. Um, I didn't even know that, there's mule deer in Texas, to be honest. North Texas has got some giants. Um, Why does Texas there you go, just right have there. everything? Go, go back, go back, go back. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, go back. There you go. I love the terrain, man. Texas is such a beautiful. That, place. That's the Palo Duro Canyon. That's the north end of just south of Amarillo. That's him. That's him. Coming from the right. See the feed pen? Oh, like, dope. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not going to let them jump in there. I mean, it's, the, whatever we're doing is 100% legal hunt over bait, but like, that's a giant mule deer. I love how gap he is. Oh. Oof. Right there. Oh. Quartering away, right behind the shoulder, or right behind the ribs. Oh, my God. He took it like a man. Dude, wow. look at his belly. He is like, fat. he's huge. He's huge. 
He was trying to get through that fence. I big, oh. I big middled him right there through the ribs. <laughs> big middle him. Yeah. Damn, that deer dude just. And he took it, and now he's going to run. Now watch this. How? Watch this. Oh, uh, he's drag. Oh, done, dude. <laughs> now he Oof. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. And now I look like somebody's grandma sitting over there with my jacket over my legs. Like, I'm just trying to camouflage. Were you chilly? No, I wasn't cold at all. I was <laughs> I'm trying to camouflage. Were you chilly? Yeah. Yeah. I like, like, me, my, I turn up the heat, you know? <laughs> you hit you ass. That, 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 that's, that was my... <laughs> hey, 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 do you have a blanket? I'm chilly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That, my that, fingers hurt. <laughs> that's my guy, Aaron. That's my buddy, Matt Higgs. That's his wife, Aaron. You asked. Um, Aaron for a blanket. I was like, you? Aaron, you got you can't turn the heater on out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of cold. My fingers are well now your yeah. back's gonna hurt because you just pulled landscaping <laughs> duty. Glasses <laughs> shut the hell up. You pulled skidding duty. Yeah. Lot, there's a lot of talking. You can go to recovery if you want to. Like it's Dude, to. you wall up that thing, man. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like but and and like I, I was I mean, I knew this was a big deer, but this is the biggest that they've ever shot up there. Really? Yeah. Bro. And I'm just like that is a giant. Yeah, that's there you go. Um, that's a giant. And if anybody wants to wonder why I kept shooting, look at that rack. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> good good shooting until right go there. down, right? <laughs> oh, man. That barrel looks like it's 48 inches long. It probably yeah. is with that suppressor. <laughs> Suppressors are <laughs> that shit. See me toting that damn gun. Yeah. <laughs> She's like you're doing a pole Is that a scar uh, yeah. up that deer's back? Yes, he's yeah. been fighting that whole. I had to actually get a new cape oh for him. The tax drummers couldn't use it. Oh, my so God. Scarred. I wondered that because when he was walking, you can see it on both sides. He is raked. I feel like you should. Just use that Those that characters. cape just for like the character. Well, but it. it wouldn't like it won't. It won't stretch. It, it won't work. Yeah. Gotcha. So wow. I got, I got another one. It's a monster. That was. That was that's oh, like. Moly. He yeah. was decent. I mean. Decent. All right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. For Texas. Yeah. yeah. Big Buck for Beth Texas. over here would have just roped him. <laughs> <Yeah>. Big Buck <laughs> Beth. <laughs> but you see, he's got like the kickers and I mean, all yeah, awesome splits. Ever. I mean, he's he's wow. Just, I want one of those. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Another one. I'm going to Texas. Texas. Yeah. He's got bar out. Hey, he... Actually, I might have some spots on that hunt if y'all want to go. Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, what yeah. time of year? Uh, it's usually the weekend before Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'll go if I'm tagged out in Illinois. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's got really good brows, too, for a yeah. mule deer. Yeah. Damn, that buck is bad, dude. And that's a look that, at that beam curve. And, that, and that's like a canyon buck. So like, like they they usually like the average canyon buck that we've shot out there is like one fifties. Last year, the year before that, I killed like one that was in the low sixties, and that was like one of the top three they've ever killed. And this one, it it yeah. smokes all just, of them. Wow, yeah. bigger. Yeah. Just a mega. Just just one of them. Congratulations. Yeah. What do you got, Blanton's in that cup? Shit, yeah, I got double. Double? double. <laughs> what the hell? No. I'd be drunk in the yeah. passed out in the back of that truck with that <laughs> <get> back. <laughs> that's my that's my buddy Chris from um, Tennessee. Like he's one of our good buddies. And um he shot like a I think he shot an all dad or something that afternoon. Oh no kidding. But um but we we pick on him for being short, but he's like one of my best friends. Like, he's, he's he's probably awesome. like five ten, like all of us. Oh no. Short and average. Oh uh, sure. He's, he's like he's like my height is yeah, five five. Maybe a little higher. Yeah. Dude, that's an awesome guy. When you're six three though, you're bigger than everybody, so that is true. Yeah. That's, that's true. true. Yeah, you can make fun of everyone. Yeah. Stud, bro. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. Yeah. That was that's an awesome place. Like that next clip you got right there, that patient pays off. That's my buddy Darren. That's his first mule deer he's ever killed. Down um, at the same spot. Yeah, same ranch. Um, the next afternoon, it was a good. I mean, that's just a great place. Like they only shoot like four mule deer a year off of it. Oh, it's, really? It's like eight thousand acres or something. Wow, wow. Um, they just, I mean, they they really manage it hard. They don't overhunt it. I mean, it's it's a fun. Place. It's thought out. Yeah, yeah. They only hunt it like that one weekend. That's my that's my camera guy there, Jordan. That's Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. Jordan. Young Jordan. Jordan. You just that, made that's it. That's our buddy. Jordan. That's your young. Yeah, that's, that's our Jordan. That's our Jordan. Oh, he's, that's Jordan. He's a toothpick guy. Oh, he's a toothpick guy. Uh, Jordan, you made the podcast, buddy. <laughs> we got to get the Jordans together. <laughs> they could. They'd have. Yeah. They'd, they'd probably they'd be both be that on would be Tinder trouble. or something. They're gonna have a Jordan trouble. off. And so Jordan's twenty one. Uh, so is he on Tinder? Have a, like a premium membership, like my uh, Jordan? Jordan. Our Jordan has nah, a, Jordan a respectable girlfriend. girlfriend. Okay, good uh, for him. She's yeah. way out of yeah. his league. But, oh yeah. Well, she'll figure it out. She'll do. Yeah. This one's twenty five. She hasn't yet, which is surprising. He's all was over that? whatever dating app he's yet. like. Oh, so he's it's the elder Jordan. <laughs> yes, we'll he's call the elder. He's a little weirdo. <laughs> our Jordan? Yeah. He's, he thinks he's Batman. It's he's weird. got a he's got a syndrome. Just go along with it. So, he's got like a Batman <laughs> fetish. He's got a syndrome. It's called Batman syndrome. Yeah. So, so just go along it, with it. Who's this Robin? Doug. 
Damn, Doc. Nah, Stay out of Gotham. Nah. I'm, a, I'm his Joker. Duck, I'm going to ruin his life. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, that's Damn. so fun. Dude, you're fun. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. Fun. Uh, yeah, I don't... I mean, I don't even... <laughs> We're all over. Oh, no, man. dude, that's, that's, what, that's what it's all about. It's, dude, there's so many podcasts that are just like, here's some tips, here's some tactics, and oh, that's dude. fine. Yeah, but it's just not as fun. I want to, we yeah. want to bullshit and entertain and just have a good time. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. this is what hunting camp is. That's, that's yeah. what I do. But like, I, I, I'm one of them. Like, again, been around 20 years, and I mean, we've probably put out some educational stuff here and there. Yeah, um, there's a time and a place, but it's one of those things where. I don't, I don't know everything. I mean, I've done a lot of stuff. Right. Like I've told y'all, I mean, I'm, I got my spreadsheets for my, you know. Yeah, fuck. We stuff. didn't talk about the spreadsheets. Nah, yeah. We got to talk about spreadsheets. I got, I got spreadsheets. Yeah, we got to talk about the spreadsheets before we get out of here. Um, but with all that being said, I mean, I'm not, I'm not I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I'm blessed to do it. I've hunted some places I never thought I'd ever go. I never thought I'd shoot that mule deer like we just watched. I mean, yeah. like that's, I never thought I'd shoot a Boone and Crockett mule deer. Like it, that's never crossed my mind until I did it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, been fortunate to be here. Been fortunate to be around great folks and meet, you know, friends like y'all and, um, people in the industry just to be able to be here and, and hang around for this long. I mean, it's, it's, it's a humbling experience. It's been frustrating at times. Don't get me wrong. We've all it's impressive. Dude. We all have yeah. to battle. Um, to get to where we want to go. I mean, it's, it's work. I mean, everything in life is work. If you want it bad enough, you got to work for it. Um, but at the same time, um, it's just humbling to be around. Yeah. I mean, you know, look at know it that mean. way. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. like I'm again, I, I've never been a jury or a real tree or, you know, those guys, I mean, I've just kind of been, I'm kind of like the best minor league player on the team. Don't say it. You know that what I mean? Man. That's why don't I, say it that way. You got to give yourself you know more credit saying? than that. I mean, but I mean, that's just how I look at it. You know, nobody's what I mean? around 20 years and and yeah, you got to. I get what you're I'm saying. Still doing it. Yeah. But you're you're bigger than that, dude. 20 years in the game and putting out the level of content you're putting out and with the aura that your personality has and the fun and the just the the charisma and. It, we're almost three hours in, and we've just been oh riffing. Gosh, shit. That long? We've just yeah. been riffing. Yeah. We don't no just idea. riff well, randomly with somebody that's not special. Yeah, like well, I, this. I appreciate that guy. So I don't mean, say minor yeah. league. I don't like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I look I at you that, as but. like that's why we wanted you on here, man. Yeah. And that's like we want to talk yeah. to people we want to talk to. Yeah. And I so it. I just give yourself more credit. Cause, cause and, and that's and that's the thing. Big like, league is twenty well, years in well, the game, bro. It don't well, get any bigger than that. Well, that's what I, you I did, made it. Uh, like being that being said, like she she'll vouch for me. Like I, I I'm not like a talk about me person. Like yeah. I mean, I just want to have like just like who you are. Did. I want to yeah. have a good time. I want to hang out. I want to make new friends. I want to mm -hmm. meet more people in this entry that I love. Yeah, and and just like I don't know, give back my knowledge over twenty years, but also learn from from everybody else that yeah. like you guys story you know what i mean like that's yeah. what i asked you first thing like i mean what's y'all hey, yeah how'd this come about how'd y'all get here you right. know yeah. i'm not one of them that's gonna roll in here and be like let's talk about me and how no i mean i yeah. kill big deer and big turkey when you come here it's our yeah. job to make you talk about you and yeah, that I, I get, yeah. I, I get i get you. that and i respect yeah. that and i appreciate that because i'm not that guy you know yeah. what i'm saying like i'm not gonna like even the guys that have been in hunting camp with me i'm not gonna roll in i'm like hey man tell me how your season went let me see your deer pictures I'm not going to show you mine. Yeah. Unless you, unless you like pry them out of it'll it. come out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know? if, if you want to see them, I'll show them to you, but I'm not going to, it's the, it's the exchange the, of brotherhood where the, it happens. Right. It's, it's, called, it's just like a respect because I'm in a different playing field and you guys are too, than most people out in the world, in the hunting world. So we get to go places and see things and talk to people and mm -hmm. stuff that other people don't maybe not ever get to do that. And uh, I'm very thankful for that. But at the end of the day, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's for the greater good of, of our industry, of our sport, of giving back and sharing with other people. Yeah. It's not about me. Enjoying about, life, dude. It's, and it's having, a, having fun. Yeah, it's about having them guys fun, that man. sit on YouTube at work that are out there really, you know, keeping our power on and, and, and you know, doing doing yeah. stuff that we, we take for granted every day. Yeah. They get to sit back and watch, listen to you guys, you know, and, and enjoy that while they're working you know and, and that's sure. the most humbling thing yeah. to be honest with you we have messages all the time saying you know you guys 
got it got me through the work day right yeah. i had some yeah. shit going on and i can't believe it dude that's i can't either it's, you think about it it's fucking crazy and that's it's the thing insane. like I mean, we get people like I, I got a message on facebook today like when we we're flying up here i was checking out he's like man like you, like you guys are my heroes you know what i mean mm -hmm. Man, I appreciate that, but don't let me be your hero. Like, just let me be your outlet. Let me be your entertainment. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know, let let your dad be your hero, or you know, your grandfather, or, you know, whoever you you know takes you hunting and do that. I mean, yeah. I appreciate it. And I'll, and I'll I'll be glad to fill in if you don't have those options. But yeah, you know what I mean. Do yeah. do that kind of stuff and and keep your spreadsheets and yeah. Well, so oh, real quick, I, we gotta talk about the spreadsheet. Real thing. quick. All right. So like, you talked to dinner. <laughs> you have a spreadsheet of. Basically, you're like keeping a statistical spreadsheet on animal harvests, if you will, harvests. Yeah, yeah. To basically, I you kill, started. I kill their ass. Yeah, kill <laughs> kills. Yeah, kill to sheet. help yourself be better at killing. I started that when I was probably, I don't know, eighteen, nineteen years old. I started keeping a spreadsheet when back when before any of this outdoor industry when stuff. spreadsheets was, started digital spreadsheet like, or i don't even paper? know uh no it was actually uh excel like excel ver, microsoft like, excel like version 1.0 yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? yeah. It, windows 95 it's, it's crazy it was when you had to like rub actually, rocks together to I get hate, the power I hate up. to say this but it probably was windows 95 95 <laughs> at least 95 or 97 um, but I, but i started a spreadsheet just for like hunting club data to keep up with when the best spots to hunt, what stands on what days and when I killed deer and just to build that. I was like, I'm going to keep a log of every time I go hunting so that when, if I've only got one week to go, I can go like, that's my, like, I'm going to pick mm. no, November 7th through 14th. If I can take a week of vacation yeah. and go hunting that, that was my goal. So with that being said, I was like, I just started keeping up with every deer I've, I actually, I, the first couple of years I keep up every deer I saw. Oh, wow. And, and I'll tell you all this, like on my family farm, we, I would hunt all season and see like 20 deer. Like it was tough. Like it was hunting. Damn. Like you, you grinded it out. Yeah. To see deer, but you might see one giant buck. Now, if you, you'll see 20 deer when you go, every time you go sit and you might you see, to you'll see data. some bucks, but you won't see management any. practices yeah. of hunters work. Ex apparently. Exactly. So like, and that's, and that's <laughs> testament to, to my dad because of like just growing our farm and, and everything. Shout out to your dad for not ever selling the farm. No, oh, yeah. man. like my, is and grant my, what, what year we decide? 1904. 1904. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. how long we've had, like, my, at least the core part of our farm. Very cool. Yeah. So, like, and, and I'll say this, like, my my family, my aunts and my uncles, my father, my mother, my cousins, like, that. It's my, not going anywhere. My, 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 I love that. Montgomery Nowhere. Gentry songs, like, Daddy Won't Sell the Farm, like, we won't sell the farm. Right. That's like, awesome. Yeah. They can, I mean, it ain't happening. I love it. Like, it's Century Farm. Way. So, with all that being said, though, like, I remember the first time I ever went whitetail deer hunting on our farm, I saw like three or five does one afternoon and i was like oh shit i saw some deer you know what i mean like that was that and then it just went from there but i started keeping the spreadsheets to see when the best times to go if i could only go for whatever days and what spots to hunt and then that grew into i kept up with every deer every turkey every elk every antelope every mule deer every exotic that i've ever shot that's awesome ever ever mm -hmm. that's so cool i've got like all these these tabs by each animal in this one oh you got tabs and everything i got tabs oh, bro. shit bro. Yeah. i got tabs oh uh, it's 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 a spreadsheet on i used to keep up with a lot more data like days and times and all Do you that, have a but... video of you walking through your spreadsheet no you got to no. <laughs> that'd be a hit dude it's so it's like uh so what is it in there so, like, so when you when you kill a deer is it like date time mm-hmm Lo Place. Location, state, um, where I'm at, what the deer scores, what the deer weighs, how long the shot is, what weapon it was shot with. I got a bow and a gun column, like two different columns um, to keep up with that. I got statistics of the average score, the weight, the largest um, with each like muzzleloader, bow, rifle. Oh, you got formulas on it. It's not really form. Oh. It's just like I I, I go through you and check I, the, I, the check I, the boxes. I just highlight the data. That's so, a badass. Yeah, That's crazy. Bucky, our good buddy Bucky Island felt had uh, a good point for people when you get a deer mounted to 
uh, type or hand right if you want. Handwritten would be cool. Um, the story of the deer, where shot, all the data, mm-hmm. and a handwritten note, put an envelope stapled to the back of your mount. Yeah. That, I mean, it's it's data that you have for somebody to learn if it's not you. Yeah. Um. At the end of the day, like a lot of my deer, like I'm, I, I'm not – Again, y'all know me well enough, hopefully by now, I'm not a bragger. I mean, I've got 40 or 50 shoulder whitetail mounts of deer from all sizes, from 110 to over 200. Um, And they've all got like a number associated with them. And then you go back to that spreadsheet and you can see that data of what deer they are. You could almost staple a YouTube link to the back of them. (laughs) (laughs) Google Doc link. um, The funny fact is, um, QR code. Yeah. Oh yeah. Honestly, that's <laughs> the way to do it. Hush your mouth, hush your mouth. Yeah. She's <laughs> like, don't give me any ideas, right. dude. That's a good um, idea. QR code in the yeah, back. Yeah. Maybe that's it actually is, a good you idea. scan it. It brings you right to the might, video. Might edit that out. I just think when I'm dead yeah, and gone, if my one of my mounts, if my kids don't want them, ends up in a thrift store, end up in a so bar somewhere. Like, What's the story with this? Though? Like somebody mm-hmm. could go figure it out or find. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, cool. Here's a letter on the back. Oh, he killed it here. the QR code. Takes you the. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Because uh, you think about it, like when we're gone, like YouTube's going to live forever. I mean, it's going to be Hopefully. there. Oh, Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, there'll be videos out there. But, um, you know, with all that being said, I have i didn't start turkey hunting as early as I did deer. I shot my first deer when I was 11. Mm-hmm. Uh, I shot early. my first turkey when I was 21. Because my dad never turkey hunted. Like, he didn't. we didn't grow up turkey hunting. That surprises me, like, being a southern yeah. thing, right? Well, I, mean, well, I think turkeys in the south are like. But we didn't have turkeys. Uh, oh, really? Like, we didn't have them until yeah. I was, like. 21 like in that like we killed our first my i called in actually i called in turkeys before i ever killed one. Oh, really I called in for my cousin and my dad before i ever killed a turkey and then i was like i think i want to shoot one of these things you know <laughs> I, I, I was just fascinated by trying to like you called and made a freaking bird come in yeah, you know yeah. I mean? like, that was you like make okay. some noise and they come running. yeah, yeah. and it was like the first few Bizarre. bits were probably pretty rough you know what i mean Ooh. yeah 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 um the process is cool yeah it, it's yeah. and it's a learn like the first call i ever learned on was a mouth call like I didn't do the slate and Great box and like like it was just straight up diaphragm, learn how to call. Yeah, and, I and love turkeys more now than I ever have, and it grows more and more every year. It's one of those like it's a love hate relationship, no doubt, hundred percent. But with that being said, mm-hmm. going back to the, the spreadsheet thing, I know we got to wrap her up, but um, I think I told you all like I killed by like ninetieth gobbler. <laughs> That's um, awesome, dude. This, hold on, this past hold on. spring. Oh, nope, nope, wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, nope, nope, ignore that. There it is. Yeah, well, <laughs> something will work, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, well, there's some drums uh, in there, don't worry yeah, about that. Hey, just hit them all, they all work. I got the buttons all <laughs> fucked up there, don't worry about them. <laughs> but but uh, again, not bragging, just stating this statistics at this yeah. point, because I got a spreadsheet. But um, <laughs> with that being said, um, I've shot all of those turkeys but i think maybe three on video wow yeah that's impressive because that's because the first turkey i ever shot like that's when we started 90 like I, I didn't have i had zero turkey street grid when we started like i, <laughs> oh. I had no turkeys under my you were just getting ready to put out your first mix i was like <laughs> on turkeys. And, you know, i was like i was like vanilla ice like we're just gonna go throw a song out there one hit one yeah and so yeah. marky it, mark yeah exactly feel it feel the vibration <laughs> but, uh, but so but like so went out we, we shot some turkeys and then i you know the first turkey i ever killed was on video and so i just it just fell in like everyone was on video yeah and then I shot a couple, just like I'm screwed. I'm just gonna go kill. I think I've killed three. Like I'm just gonna go kill them. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pissed off today. It's just they're gonna <laughs> die. Take the even, camera. Screw that camera. And let's go kill a turkey. And I, I go by myself or whatever, and just just roast them. But um, it's putting in work. But yeah, I mean it is, man. And, and people don't realize that that sit back and and watch us on like you guys too, and like YouTube and everything. Like man, these guys don't they don't earn it. But that's screw, ignorance. Go, go kill eighty seven or whatever gobblers on video. Go do it. Just go do it. I won't. I mean, I don't no, care. Anybody, all, anybody, out there, anybody that's out there hating, go do it. When, you, when you've when you done it, I, I mean, I respect you anyway, but like when you can go show me 87 videos of gobblers flopping, then then you can come talk shit to me. You know what I'm <laughs> right, saying? Right. Like, <laughs> I killed right. 90. You know what I mean? Yeah, you killed 90. Good for, hey, good for you, man. I'll give you a fist bump. I'll tip my hat to you. It's like, good damn job. Hell yeah. But it took me... 20 years to do that shit. That's a haul, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's a haul. That's a and lot I, of turkeys. And but, so but go cut turkeys. your teeth hunting in the damn swamps of Georgia. I can't imagine. You know what I'm saying? So many turkeys. 
humid, hot right. bugs. Snakes, hot snakes. gobbies. But, but, but we don't have to worry about yeah. snakes up but, here either. But that's why oh, we. But honestly, that's why snakes. we kill most of our turkeys like the first week of the season. So it's before, over with before it gets hot. Yeah. yeah. And the snakes come out. Snakes, snakes are, are always. Out. Do you guys have rattlers? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we got all of them. Yeah. Mm. Okay, how cold does it get down? You ever there? catch one? Um, have I caught one? Oh yeah, we caught. I want to catch my, one. My dad's one, and like he'll go pick up a rattlesnake and go take it over in the woods and turn it loose. Do you eat them? Yeah, you can yeah. tastes like chicken. Yeah, oh really? Fried up. They're actually pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go, like go, go better than hog. Yeah, go yeah. catch them. Eh, depending on how big the hog is, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Fair. But hey, look, it's Snake better than bacon. all dad. <laughs> yeah, okay, better than all dad. Better than all dad. Where can people yeah. find you guys? Uh, backwoodslife.com or you can just go to any search engine and type in Backwoods Life or Backwoods Life Michael Lee and we will, you will see more than you ever care about. <laughs> I'll put it all in the description. There there actually, I already yeah. got it in the draft. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go. that's like, where do I find job. them? This is where yeah. you find there them. You right there you go. There you go. Thank you guys. Yeah, this was fun. For, Thank y'all, man. Yeah, thanks for coming. I, I, like, I, I had no idea we'd talk this long. I mean, it's just part of the gig, man. Yeah, natural, having man. fun. I appreciate it. Like, I, I really Time do. Flies. I appreciate all you guys. I appreciate being here. And, uh, thank you for tagging along. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's good fun. to have you guys. Yeah. I hope uh, I hope we provided a podcast experience that you'll never get anywhere I'll else. It, man. Absolutely, like, I'll like, never I'll, forget. I'll, I'll, I love this guy. I love talking about hunting. I love talking with new people. I mean, and hell, I feel like we've known each other for ten years now. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we're going to continue like that, to drink some beer after this episode and listen <laughs> to some music and have some fun. But I'm I, part. I, I just I, I ain't scared. <laughs> we definitely, you know, all of us at WCB and behind the scenes, we appreciate yeah. you guys making the effort to fly up to us, be in studio. That's we're trying to just make them all in studio because we're trying to be fucking Letterman of bow hunting, Conan of bow hunting, you know, like that's what we want to be. Yep. And uh, hunting's fun. Getting together is fun. And doing this is fun. Life is fun. And uh, it's just, it's a beautiful thing that we're doing. And Absolutely. so thank you guys for Absolutely. coming up and taking the time. I know it's a pain in the ass. No, but man, it's no. awesome to have you guys no. here. So I love it, man. I thank y'all for, for inviting me. And like I said, it's, it's been not gonna lie, it's been a little bit of my bucket list of tick, I love like, that. Tick yeah, that, that That's awesome. a good podcast to do, man. Well, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you'll come back. Hell yeah, we'll do it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. there's some more plans, plans, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll keep we'll the plans. plans yeah. <laughs> keep just plans for you. Thank you. Yeah. Doug, what do you got? You uh you handsome whippersnapper? Steve, right? No, actually Stop we're it. glad we're glad that you're here. I've been here. <laughs> hey. Thanks for coming. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday to you, yeah, too. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let's go hey, celebrate. Wait, hold on. Happy yeah. birthday, boys. Don't touch it. Oh, I'm going to drink oh, this yeah, that's crown. Me. Happy birthday. Cheers again. Did cheers, we this cheers. 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 Hey, yeah, why not? Let's do it again. Birthday month. I got a dribble left. Oh, it tastes like a liquid cigar. It needs to be uh, cold. It needs some ice. Yeah. <laughs> it needs some ice. Ooh, right. <coughs> go dogs. <Ooh. laughs> Beth, did you get, do you regret this? Where you're like, I'm here with these drunk nope. rednecks from Illinois. Is this your first podcast? I think Probably, so. yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. it is. Say yeah. it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, she, thank you. I know it yes. is. That's how awesome. Yeah. yeah, I listen to a lot of podcasts. She, she's. I, I'm not gonna lie. I've got ADD so bad. Like it's hard for me to listen and concentrate. I mean, honestly, the um, six forty seven the other day, like that's the one, the first podcast cast that's that length that I've finished. Like the whole. Yeah, thing. it's a two hour with haul. You, yeah, with you yeah. guys. But I wanted to. I mean, like, n- not. I mean, obviously because of you guys, but I like I I generally wanted. I mean, I've listened to stuff in the past, but bits and pieces here and there. Yeah, but, yeah. But she's the one that like she'll sit there and listen to like hours of them. Yeah. And my like brain. Like when just I work, work, that's I just listen to podcasts. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. I get it. My my podcasts. brain. Doesn't, like I I mean I'm I'm y'all know how the industry is, man. I'm I, I can't. I'm the same way. For that long, I have to go yeah. over here. The last three here. days, I'm I've been like considering getting some sort of medication to keep my brain. <laughs> I like can't finish a task. This is brought to you by Blantons. This episode is brought to you by Blantons. <laughs> Prescribed. Prescribed, Prescribed Blantons. That's B L A N. This has got the letter N. Anybody need to trade an N out? We yeah, have. We got some. three uh, N's, but we need two of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why there's so many because there's more N's than anything else in Blantons, turns out. Uh-huh. Eric, what you got, brother? No, thanks, guys, for coming up, and uh, hopefully we'll spend some camps together and some more podcasts. I hope so, man. Absolutely. We'll have, yeah. we will have a freaking fun hunt camp. I think it'd be I'll easy. You like as long that. as we can podcast yeah. and camp to get some content oh, and shoot right. shit. We, we've actually got high-speed internet at, at the farm. Anyway, now, hunting lease is crap, but we can do it on the farm. Y'all can get Big Mike on there? Oh, my God. I'm in on this already. Uh, let's do it. Let's, let's do a hunt at the Lee Farm. And you can get Big Mike involved, and like, what if y'all we got can compare Bradley mustaches? Gilbert on the podcast? <sighs> Would he do it? 
What if we bring Maybe. parting peace gifts? Peace gifts. <laughs> Plans. What if we come to him? I, I think if 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 we can put it together and I can we can come to him, we can go go to his farm. Because he's got a big, um, like a big, what's it was a barn dominium on mm-hmm. his farm. Yeah. yeah, he calls it the dog house. Um, but and like I mean, it's just giant, like, giant man we, cave. We could, we could all stay yeah. there and it'd be a good time. Like if I could, if I could put that together, it would be great. Like he would, he would. I mean, he would genuinely like you guys a lot, and it'd be fun to hang out. It'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. And, 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 and dude, cool. oh, and talking about like uh, fishing, bass fishing. He's got some giant largemouth. Ooh, I want to catch a hog. Like ten, <laughs> like like ten pound largemouth. She really ten pound? Oh yeah. Woof. Okay. I like that. I'm just saying. That sounds nah, like, it, that it, sounds it, really fun. Like the the scheduling part's gonna be like yeah. an ultimate nightmare. Yeah. Right? No. That, but, we'll worry about that later. But we'll get there. Yeah. We'll okay. get there. I like that. that. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank y'all. Yeah, awesome. thank, thank you everybody thank you. for tuning in. Watching, listening, supporting us, what we do. Hope you're having a good week. You know what to do. Go shoot your bow. We love you. Peace. See you next week.